What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion here on the channel. Today, we are back in Poland, back for one of my favorite MMA promotions, KSW, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. Sis, are you saying? I am saying. I am saying. And we have our first of two prelims starting momentarily. The second fighter is making his walk to the cage, walking out, walking out to a little Lincoln Park. And as my boy Foul One knows, insist you will know this too, KSW, not only does it provide elite MMA, but they are, they win, they have the S tier ring girls. As you can see here, going for the green instead of the purple today. Green's my favorite color. No complaints. No complaints. First of two prelims on the card starting right now. These fighters are just getting looked at by the cut men before the second one enters the cage. We will highlight the fighters in just a moment's time, folks. How is everybody doing today on this beautiful Saturday? Shout out to you all. Saturday evening out in Poland, Saturday morning here on the west coast of Canada. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks on the live chat. I am, this is a pop-up studio, by the way, folks. I am visiting some friends and family on the west coast of Canada right now. So if like, if I freeze, if my webcam turns off, I'm using my laptop right now. And every like little bit, my laptop for some reason recognizes that my webcam is not a Mac product, not an Apple product, and it boots it out. And then I just have to like bring myself back in. So heads up, that's probably going to happen sometime during out this stream. But other than that, we're rolling. Other than that, it's been a fun few days of streams. Hell, it's been a fun few weeks of fights. All right. So the bow order is correct. 
via Tapology. If you want to follow along, let's highlight these first two fighters here as they are being announced in the cage. And I'll get right back to your comments. Sis, what's up, Sis? What is up, Habib? What is up, Foul One? It's good to see all you. What is up, Living With H? Appreciate all you guys. Let's get a stummer, stunner win to start this dope MMA day. Let's do it. So many great fights today. Shout out Soda Pod, my podcast. It's time. Let's get it on. S tier indeed. Got a fatty and some candy kush lit. Let's go, sis. For the Kings Oilers game, do you think that the high stick or didn't care? What do you think of that high stick? I didn't really care too much. I didn't. I was more focused on the wild game and streaming last night. Uh, what's up, Tom? It's good to see you. Sage 412. Good morning, my friend. Good morning to you, Sage 412. There's my fave thing, girls. It's going down in Poland. I need a stummer win. Ring. All right. No bullshit. No announcement in the in the cage. They just go right to it. Round one. Let's get it on. I didn't, uh, I didn't even have enough time to highlight these fighters. My apologies. So they've just started right now, ladies and gentlemen. Stummer in the red. Stummer just lands a good right hand. Kujawa in the blue. I'll get back to the focus play-by-play. -play. Right now, I'm just going to highlight them quick. Keep the comments coming. Appreciate you guys. Four minutes and 35 seconds on the clock here. Outside low kick by Kujawa. Jonathan Kujawa, he is 1-0 and o in pro mix martial arts. He's fighting out of Poland, 145 pounds. 1-1 one one on the amateur scene. 1-0 one oh in pro MMA, making his KSW debut. His opponent, Joseph Stummer, 2-0 and oh in pro MMA. He is the favorite. Or it's even, minus 115 apiece here. Joseph Stummer. Uh, Czech fighter, if I'm not mistaken here. Yeah, from the Czech Republic, or Czechia. Uh, he's fought two fights in RFA, so solid developmental promotion, and he went... Four and one on the amateur. That's who I'm going with. We're going for Joseph Stummer. We're rooting for him so our boy in the chat can make some money. Back to the focus play-by-play -play we go. Again, Kujawa in the blue corner. Stummer in the red. Stummer clinching with him, pushing Kujawa up against the cage. Got a Stummer Merrick Parlay to start the day so I can start with the win. Let's go. Shout out to everyone joining us live here. Our light like goal today on this video is 30 likes. We doubled our light like goal yesterday. But let's try to at least get to 30 likes today. So if you're viewing us, like this video. We're trying to get to 30 likes. So how do you turn on slow mode in live chat? You go into your YouTube settings. I only put three seconds. It's a little slow, but that way the spammers don't, don't get us. Stummer looking for that takedown still, and he almost got that single leg. Good takedown defense by Kujawa. Did I say how much I love KSW already, folks, or did I say how much I love KSW already? I know we're in the prelims of the crazies happen here. Love this promotion. I'm watching on KSW TV. It's only 15 bucks Canadian, 10 bucks American if you want to watch this pay-per-view. If you need another place to watch it, let me know. Kind of ironic the no bullshit card started 20 minutes ago. <laughs> KSW, they have a long intro. 27 minutes is actually not even that bad, to be perfectly honest. I've, I've started to stream an hour early because they're just going off. But that's how they do it. That's how they do it. I believe that this is also broadcasted to their T TV broadcasting partner. But for us, you know, we get it fairly cheap on pay-per-view online. They're separated here. Two minutes left in this first round, ladies and gentlemen, center of the cage. I like the cage, too. I think it's a little bit smaller than a one championship, but it's the circled cage, kind of like Bellator. Looks like a hell of a matchup here. It's not bad so far. I mean, very young guys, very young guys, especially in their, like, pro MMA experience. 2-0, and oh, right? That's the guy who we're going for, 2-0. and oh, Against a 1-0 and oh guy, some amateur experience. Again, first of two prelims. The rest of the card is actually damn good, ladies and gentlemen. Habib says Joseph wins. Wildly 2-1 to one in the series. Let's go. I watched that game last night while we were streaming. I had the double screens going, buddy. Because I was doing a one championship last night, uh, City of Sunrise. Yes, Davis Garcia. We're going to stream a good portion of that. I don't know if I'm going to start right at the beginning of the prelims. But we will uh, stream a good portion of that tonight. I will get the video up. Sage 4218. First time I'm doing boxing over UFC. 
And it's because you guys asked for it. So there you go. There you go. One minute and three seconds left on the clock here. Again, we're totally interactive. Focus. Get your comments in the live chat. Totally interactive here. Stummer stalking down Kijawa. Stummer couldn't get the takedown, but I think he landed the better shots here in this first round. Let me know your thoughts on this fight in real time and or in between the rounds. And there we go. Stummer gets, or is it Stumer, gets the takedown. I just want some paper here that I can scribble on throughout this event. Oh, by the way, I have some fun news. I have some fun news that I'll talk about. A cool thing happened. A cool thing happened. We're hopefully going to get another podcast guest. 15 seconds left in the first round. I know everyone's like, you should have been saying we're going to get Matt Favola for months now. Dude, we're getting him. He's just busy. He's training for a fight. And DeBella. That one's on me. I got to email DeBella again. John DeBella of one championship. Both those guys are coming on. We might have another guest coming on soon. He reached out to us. He reached out to us. I can't count out Dallas yet. Oh, me neither. And that is the end of the first round, folks. After this fight, I'll get into some of the exciting news. And I'll even I will even text. I'll even text them live. Maybe they show up in the live chat here. That's how fun this is gonna be. That's how fun this is gonna be. I would call them, but we ain't we ain't that close. We ain't that close. All right, end of the first round, folks. Who do you think won that first round? I have to give it to Joseph Stumer, who again, it's a near even odds here at minus one fifteen apiece, dude. Smash that on Joseph Stumer, man. Smash that on Joseph Stumer. I can't imagine there's a live bets for freaking KSW. Dude, I, I will. I, I know we're early. We're only like 18 minutes, and I'm, I am gonna have to take a break in the first hour to make more coffee because this is my last cup. And look, it's a sad cup. There's not much in there. One O Stumer. Yes, I got a one O Stumer as well. KSW. They they um have the best ring girls in the world. They got flags too. Man, KSW and and they're. The way that their broadcast is, the way that their show is. I mean, I love KSW. I'm a huge fan. Oh, no, no. They, they, they check every box. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Round two has just begun. Yeah, they um they score round per round again. Oh, beautiful takedown. Look at that. Kujawa in top position, just raining down. Hammer fists and shots here in the top position. Stumer, yeah, you better not end this ref. He's doing a good job of advancing position here. And Stumer gets back up to his feet here, now reversing. He wants to get the takedown. Four minutes and 22 seconds into this second round. Shout out to everyone joining us live here on the channel. And uh, here we go, here we go. Slam takedown by Stumer. That was a slam takedown by Stumer there, ladies and gentlemen. Stumer in the top position here, trying to reverse himself is Kujawa. And he does do a good job of scrambling and getting back up to his feet. They're scoring off center of the cage. A 1-2 by Kujawa doesn't land. Kujawa does have to keep his hand up. He has to keep his hands up. Activate A has, says Betway has live bets for KSW. There you go, baby. There you go. The risk of drinking coffee where my mom told me that it can't make people sleep. Well, that is true. But it is it is early. I can vouch for that. Drinking too much coffee, especially in the afternoon, you will not have a good sleep. Unless you're just like an absolute crazy fiend and you work out like crazy and... You old. My dad used to be able to drink coffee at like any moment, any time of the day, and he'd still be able to sleep. Me, after like 4 p.m., I ain't having a good sleep. Activate A, it's good to see you, buddy. Again, like this video if you folks haven't already. We're trying to get to 30 likes. That is our goal here today, 30 likes on KSW, and we're going to be streaming some boxing later, ladies and gentlemen, over Bellator, over UFC. Tank and Garcia. Nice right hand by Stumer. Landed clean on Kujawa. I heard that one through these tiny little speakers. I like OKSW. They do do a um, almost like a hybrid of like an English and Polish broadcast too. Like they do dub some English over and the announcer in cage does talk English and Polish. Ryzen's awesome because they do like a straight up English broadcast for those who buy it on Fight TV. However, I think I could do a better job than some other guys. No offense, no offense. Uh, two minutes and 24 seconds left. 
in this second round. Nice flurry of shots by Kujawa. Kujawa tried to set up a spinning back fist there. Oh, ghost number on screen. Ghost number on screen. Knee by Stumer. Stumer now going for the body lock again, going for the takedown. Come on, Stumer. Bust his face, man. I got the camera out. Coffee and trees this morning. Cheers. Same. Same, brother. I can't... Uh... A, I can't smoke in this room. And B, I can't share that experience with you guys on YouTube if I want to keep my monetization on this channel. But just know that during the breaks, while I'm making coffee, I'm doing the same. I hate my facial hair. I try my best to stay clean shaven, and I wish mine never grow. Dude, you don't even know. I'm Persian, bro. You got everyone other than Persian, and I got, like, the hairiest dad in the world. You guys don't even know. So... I literally have to, sh like, this is, like, I shaved yesterday. Look at this shit. I shaved yesterday. Top position right now for Stumer, by the way, folks. As we talk about shaving in the live chat. One minute and five seconds left in this second round. Stumer was in notified half-guard side control. He's back up to his feet, and he went to throw a punch to Kajua, who's in the bottom. And Kajua with a nice reverse. went for a takedown, but bounced off the canvas as Stumer reversed him. Stumer now has his back. Stumer now with the hook in. Has one hook in. Has one hook in. 45 seconds left in this second round. Go Koo. Reverse triangle? Reverse triangle possibly? No, just high guard here. 35 seconds left. Back take by Stumer, but it is high. It is high. It is higher than Sage 421 and Sis. Oh, beautiful take. Beautiful back take here. He's utilizing his legs. To get hooks on the back, but get hooks on the head. And instead, he's elbowing and hammer fisting the face. This is beautiful technique here. Beautiful technique by Stumer. Final 10 seconds of this first round. I mean, if there was more time in this fight, he might end it here. This is kind of like a crucifix position. Look at bleeding from the right eye right now is Kujawa. But that is it for the second round. What a dominant second round. I have Stumer winning Two rounds to none right now going into the third, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. KSW81. And the start of KSW81 right now in this first prelim is a banger from Tanger. A hoot and a holler, some might say. KSW with the fire. You know, top 100 music from like three years ago in North America, but that's okay. And we just started, baby. I'm high as a bird, pussy. Haven't heard that one before, but that's good. You hate, may hate me saying this, but I predict the Bruins to win the Stanley Cup this season. Honestly, I hate the Leafs more than the Bruins. Um, So I don't hate you for saying that. I would not be happy to see the Boston Bruins win because I'm not a fan of them at all for breaking my dreams as a Canucks fan and causing a riot. But hey, it's the same one as last time, uh, Jigador. 2-0, big Stumer, or round three just started right now. Four minutes and 50 seconds if you want to sync up with my clock. What is up, Jugador? Uh, it's this one, buddy. Or you can go... I'll give you two. How about that? I'm giving you two for one. Don't say I never did anything for you, buddy. I'm watching on KSW TV, by the way, guys. This is the best $10 I've ever spent. Overhand right by Stumer. Straight left by Kujawa. Body kick attempt by Kujawa. Hey, when they do this, folks, Kujawa in the blue corner. Yeah, he has the red trunks. Four minutes and five seconds on the clock here in this third round. Three minutes and 45 seconds left. Props to Kujawa. Oh, Kujawa slipped there. 
for like primarily wanting to keep this on the feet. Stumer just looks better in all areas. He looks better in the striking department. In my opinion, nice high kick there by Stumer. He looks better on the ground. His grappling, both their grappling, like for guys right off the amateur scene, are, are pretty damn good. But Stumer is obviously just levels ahead. But props Kujawa for like still bringing the fight, whether it's on the feet or on the ground. Like he's never just submitting to a position or anything. Stumer going for the takedown. Stumer now with a nice few shots there as he catches, threatened with a single leg, couldn't get it, and punished Kujawa right after. Hope the Kings win game four so I can shut these loudmouth Oilers fans up who were saying Oilers in four. It would be crazy to see Connor McDavid put up numbers like he did this season in the National Hockey League only to get bounced in the first round by the Kings. Put it this way, City of Summer, as, as a Canucks fan, I can empathize with those Oilers fans if that's the case. Canucks won their second President's Trophy in a row in 2012, got bounced by the Kings. The Kings went on to win the Stanley Cup. Two minutes and 42 seconds left, and oh man, Stumer's just piecing up Kujau on the feet. Just piecing up Kujau on the feet. By the way, love, I don't know if the back tattoo of, of Kujau is an actual back tattoo, or if that's a brand, like a logo, but I like it nonetheless. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's comment driven live stream, as you know. Outside low kick by Kujawa. Kujawa, though, wearing the damage right side of his eye. Or to the right of his right eye. And there we go. Stumer. Nice little takedown right above the cage. Ass to the mat. Back to the cage is Kujawa. On top of him right now is Stumer. Stumer not doing much damage yet in this position, but here we go. Looking up, looking to potentially set up some short left elbows here. One minute, 50 seconds left. Again, folks, if you need a place to watch this, let me know. I'm watching on KSW TV. But there are some other options for you. Let me know if you're watching the Stanley Cup playoffs as well, if you're a National Hockey League fan, or what other MMA promotions or fight promotions that you are both excited for and have watched thus far this weekend. Happy Saturday, everybody. One minute, 26 seconds on the clock here. Trying to, there we go. Good job by Stumer dragging Kujawa away from the cage here. So Kujawa's torso isn't touching the cage at all. One minute and five seconds on the clock. Is it Earth Day today? Is it actually? I posted a picture on Instagram a few years ago for Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everybody. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it is. It is. Happy Earth Day, everybody. It is pissing rain and foggy right now in this rainforest that is Vancouver Island that I'm visiting. Add to Bayou. What is going on, Add to Bayou? It's good to see you, brother. Um, Joseph Stumer is dominating right now. He's in the top position, half rubber guard by Kujawa, but he had a better first round, he had a better second round, and now he's having a better third round. He's just better all around. He's better in the grappling. He's better on the feet. They do everything better. What's up, Adebayo? It's good to see you. A late happy 420 to everyone and a happy Earth Day as well. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> another excuse, another day to celebrate the smoke in them trees, ladies and gentlemen. I got to pick up garbage on the floor. And that is it for the third round. I'm looking. Okay, a good display of respect thereafter, but Kujawa going for a late late takedown oh nice head kick by Stumer knee to the body by Stumer Kuja Kujawa just looks beaten up here folks Kujawa good effort here sir but you're now gonna go one and one in pro MMA in in my opinion Joseph Stu uh, Stumer from Czechia from the Czech Republic he has won this one what is like politically correct way to call it now? Is it Czechia in hockey? A lot of the hockey broadcasters refer to the Czechs as being from Czechia is it, or is it Czech Republic. They've, they've taken away the Republic. Like, I don't know. Anyways, first prelim in the books. And folks, there's a lot of heavy. There's three heavyweight fights on this card, by the way. Uh, this next prelim fights heavyweight a fight. And then we had the opening of the main card and co-main event are also heavyweight. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Wait, we, we await the official decision here, ladies and gentlemen. We wait the official decision here again. I'm watching on KSW TV. If you need a place to watch this, just let me know. Ayo, what's up, Matt? Happy Earth Day. 
All right, crackheads. I mean, judges don't mess this up. It. I don't think KSW judges have ever been that bad. I don't think we've had like an egregious decision here. And we've done a few KSW streams on the channel. Oh, look at that cut on the right side of Kujawa. All right, listening in for the official decision. Do we vibe it indeed? Nongo lost his championship belt last night and the Minnesota Wild won. Sorry, sis. Yosef Stumer, unanimous decision, takes this one. He is now 3-0 and in pro MMA. There you go, sis. The first leg of your parlay has landed. Or has hit. Is that is that how you say it? Has hit? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Sorry for the ad, guys. I'm trying to make at least 20 cents on these videos, you know. I got, a, a man's got to eat. A, man, a man's got to buy his coffee some way, okay? All right, just updating the graphic on screen here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. What was the ad? I'm curious because they're all like geolocated. I'm pretty sure I don't insert them at all. Their their YouTube shit. You know, like I said, I'm trying to make at least twenty cents on these videos, folks. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the KSW Ring Girls S tier. That there is there there is no other promotion that competes with KSW. I mean, maybe BKFC. I still, you know, I got to make that list. I got to make that list. I know the Guru has made the female fighter list. I got to make the the ring girl and like i'm not even and it's not even being disrespectful if anything it's showing praise it's showing love appreciation to biology you see how much you hate the dallas i don't hate them i don't hate them at all to be honest if anything i have respect for them tom as as you know because you're a big fan of my podcast i know um, I've been saying for months now uh, as well as the state of hoppy my co-host on the on the podcast We've been saying that this is the this is the matchup we did not want the Minnesota Wild to get. We were giving them respect. We said that this was the one that we we th we thought that the Minnesota Wild could beat the Avs easier than they could beat the, the the Dallas Stars. Uh, a man's got to buy his quick chip somehow. Oh, sorry, forget you're without that right now. I know it sucks. Fuck Tim Hortons. I think it was Samsung. Oh, there you go. So, sis, are you a Samsung user? I have a Samsung phone, by the way. But he wasn't paying attention. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'll be watching the Davis Garcia fight. Me too, brother. Me too. I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to start right at the beginning of the prelims. I'm going to go try on new glasses frames because believe it or not, these glasses are 13 years old and I need new ones. What is up, Diego? What is up? Oh, yeah. By the way, folks, get this. So who is here? Let me know in the chat. Who is here watching Cage Fury FC with us on uh, Thursday? No joke. Max Canones message me on facebook say hey bro hope all is well i want this reaction to go viral i was seeing if you were cool if i posted on instagram and this is the reaction Gonna be on oh. oh my god so i'm inviting max canonis onto the show and maybe on a live stream so i'm gonna message him back literally in real time right now and i'm gonna tell him hey jump if you're if you're i don't know what time is it, it is in brazil or where or, I mean, he's probably still in north america why do i think he's brazilian he's american it's because he's got the charles Oliveira crazy hair here but uh yeah so there you go i'm gonna text him right here he might jump in the live chat here in a little bit No, I'm actually all Apple, but I did just get a Samsung laptop. There it is. I'm feeling good about the early pick on MA, or Minnesota winning in seven. I hope they do, dude. I hope they do. Samsung's for people who love pyrotechnics. Fucking right, let's go, Isha. Max is goaded for real. Dude, That I, I'm asking him also, can you send me footage of that flying knee? Can you send me fucking footage of that flying knee, please? All right, next fighters are making their walkout now to the KSW cage, ladies and gentlemen. We will highlight the fighters in just a moment. By the way, shout out to our exclusive member. I believe the only exclusive member in the chat right now, MN Wild Talk. Big shout out to um 
to our boy living with H. He's no longer an exclusive member, but he was an exclusive member. So shout out to him as well. But shout out Matt. Thank you so much for support going above and beyond supporting this channel. Got Merrick here to bring home the parlay. Prelim parlay. Dude, that could be a segment on the channel too. Prelim parlay. To be honest, Stars vs. Av shouldn't have been the should have been the first round game. Why? Why? There, there are no shoulda, coulda, wouldas in the National Hockey League. The playoff seeds are the way the playoffs are. The the East is really good. The West is absolute dog shit. So, I think it's uh, right where it's supposed to, right is right where it's supposed to be. As a Wild fan, I did not want them to get Dallas because I think Dallas is a very, very underrated and unappreciated team. The Avs on paper, when healthy, are the best team in the West. They are not healthy right now, Tom. They are not healthy right now. Yellow two legger to start the day, baby. Two legger to start the day. We got the rhymes flowing. We got the rhymes flowing. All right, next fight here. Let's highlight these heavyweights. Philip Stawowi. Ooh, I like that. Against Merrick. Sam Uchuk. Philip Stawowi. Sizolg is his uh nickname. Nine and three in Pro May. He's out of both these guys are out of Poland. Both these guys are 26 years old. Both of them weighed in. Uh, just above 260, 264 for Stawowi. Stawowi, minus 105. Again, very even odds here for these prelims. Minus 105. He is 9-3, and 3-2 three, three and two in his last five fights. He is coming off a loss, though. He's 0-1 in KSW, 4-1 in Babylon MMA, and 2-1 and one in Slugfest. He lost his last fight in his debut in KSW unanimous decision to uh, Michael Martinek. Michael Martinek was nine and three. He was nine and two at the time. Now he is nine and three looking to get a win. His first win in KSW and get back in the win column is Philip Stawowi. Looking at his opponent, Merrick Samochuk. Four and three in his pro MMA career. He is the minus 125 slight favorite. Weighed in at 260. Dun, 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 dun. His profile picture on uh, Tapology is hilarious too, by the way, folks, if you want to click it. Um, two KO, TKO, zero submission, two decision. He's two and two in KSW. Lost his last fight to Camille Gary Jolik. Via first round TKO in the first 30 seconds back in November of 2022. Before then, he got a win in the first round KO, TKO, and KSW 70 against Uzu Gabe Uguno. Before then, lost. Before then, was on a two fight win streak in EFM and, his, and he got a first. And he got a win in his first fight in KSW, KSW 60. So since joining KSW, Win, loss, win, loss. It is very cool to say that he's also fought in MMA bare knuckle. He had a four-fight win streak in, what the heck is this promotion? In Wotor, which is a bare knuckle MMA promotion. So this guy's got dog, ladies and gentlemen. Bare knuckle MMA? Bare knuckle MMA? That is amazing. He's stolen my heart, Merrick. My official prediction, I am going with Stowowi, but I'm rooting for Merrick so our boy in the live chat can win his parlay. And because this guy's an absolute beauty fighting fucking bare knuckle MMA. Are you kidding me? Official pick going with Philip Philip Stowowi, the slight underdog here. However, cheering for Merrick to win for a boy in the live chat. Keep the comments coming here in the live chat, folks. It's comment driven live stream. Well, MMA Day, been betting all day. I actually run a whole Discord community for gambling. Yes, that's right. That's what you told me. So you fit right in with Mike Jones and uh, Professor Chaos. Real question is, do I want Di Gornos or Tacos? Di Gornos, obviously. Here's the real answer. All right, round one is about to begin here, folks. Round one is about to begin here. Figuring out the Western Conference champs will be fun. They will get stomped by whoever wins the East. I don't know, Matt. You say that everyone says it, but the East teams are going to be bruised and battered. Demetrius Shudaku Dawuda is very offended. 
I don't want Tampa Bay in the final again because how much I hate them. Well, they're probably going to be there, and they're an awesome team. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. It's the frozen pizza in seventh half. It's not worth it. Tacos all day. Bare knuckle UFC one day. UFC one was a mess, though. Yeah, I mean, bare knuckle UFC. But that wasn't as much mixed martial arts as we know it today. That was more just like cage fighting and everything goes. Though it's free on YouTube. Uh, it blew my mind to find out every single one of the old UFC, UFC events are free. Like all of them. Yeah, either on YouTube or on Fight Pass. Outside low kick by Merrick here. So what we, by the way, is, by the, way, is the seventh ranked heavyweight in the division. Samochuk, Merrick Samochuk, outside low kick again. Two big boys here. Final prelim fight, KSW, 81. Oh, and a nice right upper uppercut by Stowowi. Again, Stowowi is my official pick, but I want Merrick Samochuk to win for a boy in the live chat here, sis. Any streams for this event? Activate A. I'm watching on KSW TV. I just paid the 10 bucks, But uh, you can try this out. It's not here. I don't know. But again, guys, I'm watching on KSW TV. Come on, Merrick, bring it home. Three minutes and 20 seconds left in this first round here. The big boys, oh, and a nice overhand right. And what's good about these guys is they're just throwing. They're not laying on each other. They're not going for no takedowns here. They are throwing down. They're brawling, and it is beautiful. And just when I say that, Samochuk going for the takedown. But still. But yeah, activate a 10 bucks USD. So it was like 14 Canadian. Two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here. They separate back to the center of the cage. Slowing down a little bit is Merrick here. Outside low kick again, though, Merrick. Beautiful combinations by Merrick. He's got some good boxing. Vote in the poll question, folks. Vote in the poll question. If your pick isn't listed there, please comment in the live chat. Nice uppercut again by Merrick Samochik. Dude, these guys know how to throw down. This is a great fight. This is a great heavyweight fight. Two minutes on the clock. Nice double left hook by Stowowi. Body kick by Stawowi. Oh, a nice right hand by Samo Samochuk. Dude, a heavyweight brawl here. Can't get much better than that. Preheating the oven, you made a wise decision, young man. Yeah, I mean, Matt, I imagine Sis doesn't have 7th Ave in his parts of uh, his neck of the woods. One minute and 30 seconds left in this first round, ladies and gentlemen. Up against the cage right now. Stowowi pushing Merrick Samuchuk up against the cage. You're in Colorado? You have 7th Ave Pizza in Colorado? I don't think so. I think they're only in Chicago and Minnesota. And I literally mean just the city, not even like the state of Illinois. I think they're just in the city. Dude, are you going to uh, one championship, 10, in a couple of weeks? I had tickets. I sold, Oh, I had a ticket. I sold it, though, because unfortunately not going to be able to make it out, which I'm so sad, especially if, D if Demetrius Johnson retires. I'm not going to what he doesn't retire, but. What is up, Aaron S? Killing Isha. You're killing it, Aaron S. At life. What's going on, buddy? It's good to see you. 31 seconds left in this first round. So far, this has been an incredible heavyweight fight. An absolute brawl. A hoot and a holler. There's some blood here. Stawowi looks like he's all bloodied up. Stawowi still looks like the nose of Stawowi's bloodied up. Here's the left jab of Samuchuk landing. But I spent 23 years in Chicago. I will say... D. Goronos is so, so good. 7th Ave is the best frozen pizza though in the world. I will say that. I will never buy a pizza from a restaurant or order pizza ever again because that's how good 7th Ave is. 
end of the first round, folks. And again, KSW absolutely kills it with the music between their fights, um, the walkout music that they let the fighters choose, as well as the music between rounds. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let me know who you think won that first round. It was a very, very close first round. I think that Merrick Samochik landed the better shots. But again, it's so freaking close, ladies and gentlemen. It's so close. Aaron, you are awesome. Like the video, folks. Like this video if you haven't already. We are trying to get to 30 likes on this video. Yes, that is right. That is the like goal today. 30 likes on the video, folks. 30 likes on the video. I know we can get there. We blew past our like goal yesterday. We set the like goal at 30 yesterday. We got to 60. Do I think we're going to get to 60 on this KSW stream? No. But do I think we can get to 30? Absolutely. Unlike the Penguins. Yeah, the Penguins didn't even make the fucking playoffs. What a disgrace. I don't know, man. I feel like it's a vibe to watch MMA smoke with the boys. Have a female come over as the event ends. If I went to one, it's an hour away. Plus, it would be a whole event. Sure. No, I get it. But, like, it's not like you're going to one every single month. Like, this is the first one championship event in the United States. The card is so stacked. We may never see a one championship card this stacked ever again. Demetrius Johnson may retire, win, or lose. Trust me. I feel you. I feel you, sis. But it's just like, it's just history, right? And and you know, and I'm just an, I'm I'm a sports nerd and like a, and an event nerd as well. I've never gone to a UFC event live, so that would have been my first live MMA event too. So, anyways, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, cauliflower pizza is great. Shut the fuck up, Benjamin. I like just chilling and watching chaos. Fair enough, brother. Fair enough. Man, you got to stop. Or I'm gonna go. I'm telling you, man, historic. And what if for like some weird reason, one ch championship never comes back to the States and that was the event in Colorado. Woman has gone by in this second round of this heavyweight fight. Last fight of the prelims here, just a two fight prelim, prelim on KSW 81. Samochuk looking for that take, or sorry, uh, Stawoe looking for that takedown here. A uh, little known fact, it's actually CCS YouTube. The S is before the Y, not after. Yeah, but he hasn't corrected me, so I can just keep calling him what I want. One O Merrick, yeah. Actually, I love cauliflower crust pizza. It's a great replacement if you don't want to eat bread. No, fair enough. Fair enough. I like uh, cauliflower, like deep fried cauliflower bites. I do like those. Fine. CCS YouTube. I've changed it. That's what we're going to call you now. Top position right now is Stowowi. Beating on Samochuk right now. Side control. On his knees is Smochuk. Stawoe. There's blood everywhere, folks. <laughs> but, like, it's just a name. So, we've just vibing. But, yeah, CC would technically be the name. There you go, CC. Uh, I mean, there's only been... This is the second one, brother. But the first one was good. This one's been good, too. For a heavyweight fight, this one's actually been damn good. Benjamin corrected me. I don't know what I'd do without him. CC, you shall be from now on. I want to know how he noticed it. <laughs> Bring it home, Merrick. Bring him home. Again, shout out to everyone joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate you all. One minute and 53 seconds. Stowowi. Still in the top position. Shoulder strike. Hammer fist. He's in that modified half guard side control here, but Samochek. Only can push off the cage with his feet right now. His torso is nowhere touching it. And doing a good job by Stowoi for controlling him and just laying down the beat down, the ground and pound, the mid-2000s <laughs> Tito Ortiz style fighting here. Lay on the opponent and beat them to a living death. That was the line wrote by Ken Shamrock, right? I'm going to beat you to a living death. CC, though. He needs Merrick to bring it home. Merrick in the bottom position. Not bringing it home right now. Stawoe might set up an arm triangle here. 
DraftKings still hasn't settled the uh, steamer fight yet. What the fuck, man? Going for the choke now. Going for the choke now is Stawoe. Only side control, though. Maybe he's abandoning the choke. Still side control. Also, a little in fact, CC has a little dunk mixtape. I never knew that. Full mount! Stawoe in the full mount. You have a 265 monster on top of you now. 40 seconds. It might be a little too late, though, for Stawoe, though. Full mount. Back mount. That's incorrect, says CC. Here we go. Back control. Going for the rear naked choke. 30 seconds left. This is it. This is it. Merrick's going to tap and Merrick taps. My pick was correct, but CC, I'm sorry to say that your parlay was crushed. With 20 seconds left in the second round, bloodied up in the face. Stowoe gets this one. Rear naked choke. In the second round. Oh, and my apologies, CC. My apologies. I want to apologize for absolutely fucking nothing. My pick was the right pick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ah, I can't put that on screen, but I know Benjamin's laughing uh, for that one. Oh, my apologies, CC, for your parlay breaking upon that one. It was a good first round by Merrick. But this guy, Stawoe, showing why he's a ranked fighter in this heavyweight division. Beautiful performance, beautiful striking, and beautiful ground and pound. He's an ugly motherfucker, but he fights like a beauty. My parlay moves on. Let's go. What's your parlay, Adebayu? Uh, I'm waiting for Fadipe, my boy from Nigeria. Let's go. <laughs> Benjamin, Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment-driven live stream, as you folks know. We are moving on to the main card next year, folks. And we are starting the main card with more heavyweights. That is right. And this was a good heavyweight bout. This was a great heavyweight bout. A good display of mixed martial arts, not just big boys laying on each other. Big boys are not even throwing in Ganu Lewis style. We'll hear the official announcement of the winner here in just a moment in the cage. Yeah, 100%. And he's still like a multi platinum album seller 10 years later. It's crazy. Or well, I guess not quite 10 years. Oh, yeah, more than 10 years later. It is what it is. I'll head back to 7 Eleven in the bad part of town to earn money again. Jeez. <laughs> All Nigerian fighters tonight are underdogs. Muhammad Usman, Fadipe, and Rafion Stotts. Let's go, baby. I got Stotts winning. I got Stotts winning in the most boring fashion, but I still have Stotts winning. Let's go, Adebayo. It's good to see you, Adebayo. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while since we've seen you in the live chat, so it's good to see you, brother. Keep the comments coming, folks. It is a comment-driven live stream. As you know, we will update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and the graphic on screen here. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. KSW just interviewing the heavyweight winner. We go on to the next heavyweight fight here. And oh my goodness, oh my God, look at the record discrepancy here, folks. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. There we go. The next one I could bet on for KSW is the Zimmerman. How long until that one? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Really? You can't bet on any of the main card? That's so weird. You could bet on the prelims, but you couldn't bet on the main card? The Zimmerman fight is the co-main event, brother. Apparently. Maybe the bout order is mixed up. Maybe that's the next one. And the bout order is just mixed up here for KSW. So we'll see. It might be the next one or it's the second to last one, brother. What's up, Soto? It's good to see you. Ugh, I hate your profile picture, but I love you. Rafion Stotts is whiter than Isha. He's not Nigerian. <laughs> you should have to get it in before the card started. It's so bizarre, dude. That's so bizarre. 
Anyways, folks, we're going to take a quick break here. On the other side, we will be back. If the next fight is not what is listed on the screen here, we will adjust as we go. I'm going to grab some more coffee before the fighters make their walkout because once they do, we know how they do on KSW. They like to roll quick. Let me know in the live chat if you think KSW ring girls are S tier as far as all combat sports ring girls. Let me know if KSW is one of your favorite fight promotions outside of North America. Vote in the poll question. Let me know who you voted for in the live chat. Like this video if you haven't already, folks. That's right. We're trying to get to 30 likes on the video today. That is our goal. 30 likes on the video today. I know we can do it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. So you never miss a live stream. So you never miss a video. We post MMA content. That's right. I'll have my reaction from yesterday on this channel later today. We do live fight companions, MMA content, vlogs, and more, ladies and gentlemen. So like and subscribe. All route to 5,000 subscribers. We are so close, ladies and gentlemen. We are so close. Don't go anywhere. Refill your coffee. Refill your drink. Refill your snack bowl as we'll be back two minutes time on the other side for more KSW live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. That's right. KSW 81 main card next live here on the channel. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.
we are back live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. This time, KSW. We are back in Poland. KSW81, ladies and gentlemen. And I thought we were starting with heavyweights, but we were actually starting with what I believe is the only woman's fight on this card. <coughs> Excuse me. Round one is starting here. We have Sofia Bagishvili against Maria Silva. Sofia Bagishvili out of Georgia. 24 years of age. She's 7-2. and two. She's 3-2 and two in her last five fights. However, she is on a two-fight losing streak. We'll get back to the focus play-by-play -play in just a moment. Folks, Silva in the white kit blue corner. Bagishvili in the red. Again, 7-2 and two in her pro career. She's on two-fight losing streak, 24 years of age. Uh, five submissions, two decisions, 1-0 and oh in KSW, 4-0 and oh in Georgian Fighting Championship. Uh, she lost her... Oh, I shouldn't say she's on a two-fight losing streak. That is incorrect. My apologies. She lost her first ever pro fight, and she lost her last fight in Octagon 39. But her only two KSW bouts, she has won. She won via armbar in KSW, and she won via scarf hold arm lock, both in the second round. And going for the takedown quickly here is Bagashvili. One minute in to this first round, Bagashvili... Pushing Silva up against the cage, looking for that takedown. Maria Silva, 8-1 in her pro MMA career. She's the favorite, by the way, minus 270. Bagashvili, the underdog, plus 210. That's that's an underdog where you, drop, you sprinkle some units on because she just got Silva to the ground, and she's a submission specialist here. Three minutes and 42 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with my stream. Maria Silva, 27 years of age. So young girl in her own right here. Minus twenty minus two seventy, like I said. Eight and one lost her last fight, but four and one in her last five fights. Three KO TKO, three submission, two decisions. Very, very complete fighter. One and one on contender series too, but and she's fought never. She's fought in Eris, Contender Series, AFL Future, and now making her KSW debut. She lost on last seasons of Contender Series, which she lost a unanimous decision to Dudakova. Who is five and oh? So she's the favorite because she has more experience. But I'm going with the underdog here, locking it in. I'm going with Sophia Bagashvili. Georgian or Georgians are taking over MMA, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, baby. That is my pick. Let me know your prediction in the live chat as well. What is up, Peak Master? Just in time for the only woman fight of the evening. <laughs> hey, it hasn't been bad so far. It hasn't been bad so far. Okay. Back up on their feet here. Two minutes and 34 seconds left. And it looks like Bagashvili went for a takedown here. But Silva dropped into guard to go for the guillotine. I don't think she's going to get it. Bagashvili now in the top position in the half guard. Silva going for the guillotine here. Going for the guillotine. Oh, shit. It's tight. It's tight. Fighting the hands here is Bagashvili. Fighting the hands here is Bagashvili. Maybe Silva's got some... Slick submissions in her arsenal as well. She does have three in her career. Bagashvili. Is she going to tap? Is Bagashvili going to tap? Silva wasting a lot of energy going for this. And Bagashvili's out of it. Bagashvili's out of it. North-South. There you go, Peak Master. Women's fight, North-South position. There you go. Just in time. One minute, 45 seconds left in this first round. I can't believe, guys, Max Canones messaged us on uh, social media. And they're back to their feet here. One minute and 20 seconds left in this first round. Strawway belt, ladies and gentlemen. Back Philly with a beautiful slam takedown here. But ends up... Giving up her back, it was an awkward slam takedown. Silva, I mean, they're in opposite positions here. Silva sniffing Bagashvili's butt right now. But Silva's got Bagashvili's shoulders locked. That's crazy. So she has a body triangle, but it's on the shoulders of Bagashvili right now. Silva's got some sick ground game as well, folks. Adebayo's leaning, Silva. How are you, Isha? Did you enjoy Haggerty? Perfect boxing. Dude, did, did you see my... Did you see my reaction? I freaked the fuck out. I will post my reaction video later on the channel here in its own video. But oh my goodness, that was unbelievable. Nongo's title streak. Done. Nongo's streak in one championship. Done. The passing of the guard. 
36 year old to the 26 year old. It was unbelievable, but I'm not super confident. Yes. in the silver pick Silva's looking good right now. Finishing up this first round. Well, 15 seconds left. And the favorite, in my opinion, has won this first round. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Who won this first round? Silver or Bagashvili? Bagashvili. 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 My apologies, folks. My apologies. Um, again, like I was saying, Silva has six submissions as well. Holding Bagashvili's shoulders. That was awesome. In that body triangle, it was more like a shoulder triangle. My apologies for um, for freezing there. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is my pop-up studio. I'm visiting my friends and family here on the west coast of Canada. I brought my mic. I brought my laptop. I brought my nice webcam that I plug into my desktop back home in my actual studio and no issues. If anything, it, it cleaned up all the issues. This webcam, uh, my laptop, my Mac laptop just doesn't like my webcam. So every now and then it just rejects it. It goes, oh, you ain't an Apple product and just rejects it. So it's not an internet issue. My internet's flawed. My parents' internet is actually amazing. The issue is actually just my Mac every now and then rejecting my webcam. But we'll bring it back in a sec here. We'll bring it back in a sec here. Round two has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know who you think won this fight. I think Silva did more than enough in the striking, more than enough in the grappling to win this. But I still think Bagashvili is a good dog. She didn't get beaten up too much. The second round has just begun. Four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with my stream. It is okay now. It is indeed. I will change my camera back in just a moment here. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum, ba -ba -da -bum -bum. Keep the comments coming. It's the comments of live stream. Vote in the poll question. And like this video. We are trying to get to 30 likes on the video, ladies and gentlemen. You like my hoodie, by the way? It's my favorite hoodie. The Simpsons. Four minutes and 23 seconds left on the clock here. Let's tune in. Going for the takedown is Baggish Philly. And she gets him a beautiful reversal by Silva. Oh my goodness, Silva was going for a reverse guillotine there. She doesn't get it. Silva was going for a reverse guillotine there, and she did not get it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Silva's in the full mount. Full mount, Silva. Silva looked like she wants to go for an armbar here. She looked like she's going to set up an armbar. Silva in the full mount, electing to set up an armbar. Back mount, and she has back control, and she has the body triangle already linked. Silva's got some sick jujitsu, ladies and gentlemen. And no wonder she was the favorite here up against a grappler that is Sophia Bagashvili, who five out of her seven wins have been by submission. Rear naked show. Oh, no, neck crank right now. Neck crank. Body triangle is sunk in. There's levels to this game. It's not quite under the chin right now, but she's cranking the neck backwards. Is Silva three minutes and 11 seconds? Is it under the chin? No, it's not quite under the chin. Good hand fighting by Baggish Philly. Let me know your thoughts on this fight, folks. Is Silva going to take it in these final three minutes? Is Silva going to take it in these final three minutes? Let me know in the live chat. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. Neck crank. It's still not under the chin, though, but so much time to work here by Silva. So much time here to work by Silva. Two minutes and 39 seconds left in this second round. Strawweight bout, ladies and gentlemen. I believe is the only woman bout on this card. Oh, no, we do have We have one more after this. We have one more right this. Carolina Oczaraz against Adriana Kreft. Two Polish women here. Nice hooks by Silva. Two minutes and 13 seconds away from the cage now. Softening up Bagish Philly here to try to get that rear naked choke. Shout out to everyone joining us. Appreciate you all. Keep the comments coming. Body triangle still secured. Okay, it's under the it's under the chin. This could be it. Bagish Philly's about to tap. Bagish Philly's out. 
Baggish Philly's out. Silva put her to sleep. Silva put her to sleep. She is out. It is over. It is over. Silva wins this. Silva wins this. Silva is sick. She's sick in the striking. She's sick in the grappling. I made the bad decision. I thought the Baggish Philly's was too much of an underdog for how good her grappling looked on paper. But oh my God, Silva, I just, I just did not give her enough credit in the grappling. That was amazing. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, look at Silva. She's so happy. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. There we go. We got the my favorite camera back. What a fight. Second round submission. It was competitive in that first round. It was competitive in that first round. Baggish Philly, she did look good in the grappling, but, I mean, Silva, she, reversal after reversal after reversal. There's levels to this game. There's levels to this game. Again, let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. All right, so the next fight is going to be this heavyweight fight. So they did change the bout order, and good on them going, not having two heavyweight bouts go back to back. I respect that. I respect that. Second round submission by Maria Silva being announced here in the center of the cage. And look at Barry Feely went to sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, Jim Kite. I love the KSW announcer, by the way, and I love his microphone. Just holding the old school Elvis microphone in English and in Polish. He's got a good voice for it. He's got a bit, he's got a trench coat on by the looks of it. Just a really big blazer. He looks like a villain from like a comic book series or some shit. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, the heavyweights coming up next here, folks. I will adjust the graphic on screen. Uh, Silva's being interviewed right now in the center of the cage. I didn't end up making coffee in the last break, so I might take another quick break here just to go make some coffee, folks. Pacific time here, west coast of Canada, visit my friends and family. Used to central, whoops, used to central time. One too many clicks there, folks. One too many clicks there. Uh, used to Central Time, where KSW is like right in the middle of the day. Um, it's still early for me, so still getting my cups of coffee in. Still getting my cups of coffee in. I have this little percolator here at my folks' house, and it only makes like a cup and a half, and it's just not enough. It's just not enough, you know what I mean? All right, the fighters' picture should load here in just a sec, folks. Um, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We are back. We are back. Let's go, says that by your pick getting it done. Again, folks, let me know your predictions for this next fight in the live chat. If you want to talk, hey, if you want to talk UFC, if you want to talk Bellator, if you want to talk any of the promotions from this week in one championship, we had back-to-back, how we got Ryzen next week coming up as well. Any fight you want to talk about in the live chat, it's fair game, ladies and gentlemen. We're all MMA. We're all fight junkies. We got Glory and Ryzen next weekend. That's going to be incredible. Shout out to all you amazing folks joining us live here on the Save Light Project YouTube channel. You all are amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. Comment in the live chat. Don't be shy. We're totally interactive here. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction. And, of course, interaction with all you amazing folks. Vote in the poll question. Comment in the live chat what you voted for in the poll question. And like this video. We're trying to get to 30 likes on the video today. That is the goal. 30 likes on the video. I know we can do it. We blew past our like goal yesterday. Very excited to have you folks alongside for the ride. KSW. And if you, need, if you guys need a place to watch this as well, let me know. Foul one can hook you up. I can hook you up. I'm obviously watching on KSW TV. Real time, no issues. Nine bucks, best nine bucks I've ever spent. We're going to take a quick break here. Literally two minute breaks. I'm just going to go make some coffee. Back on the other side, KSW 81.
The main card has begun. We are one fight into the main card. Fourth fight on the entire card, and we are back to the heavyweights. We will highlight them. I will give my pick, but in the meantime, let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. We are totally interactive on this stream. Back in two minutes. Talk amongst yourselves. Vote in the poll question. Like and subscribe. See you folks on the other side.
And we are back live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. We're back here for the main card. I guess there were three prelims, not just two. We are back for the main card. KSW81, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful intro that was just moments ago. Again, thank you for your patience throughout that extended break. I had to make some more coffee, folks. I had to make some more coffee. It's still early. It's still the AM officially. Out here on the west coast of Canada, Vancouver Island, what is up? And the first fight on the main card is upon us here as the big boys. We are back to the heavyweights. The big boys are making their walkout right now. We will highlight them here momentarily. If there's ever another break in action, because I always forget, I'm like, why are KSW about so long, or the card so long? Is it because there's a huge, like, 40-minute intro, then there's, an in there's a break between the... Prelims in the main card, and then before the co main event and main event, there'll be another little break as well. In that next break, we will talk about the next two KSW events coming up, Coliseum 2 and KSW 82, because those cars, those cards are nothing short of tremendous, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to promote them as best uh, that I can. Grave Digger Jones, what is going on, my man? The man, the myth, the legend, Grave Digger Jones. How is it going? How is your... MMA filled weekend going, brother. Cheers to you. I'm just drinking coffee right now, but cheers to you. Are you going to be watching the boxing tonight? Or are you going to be watching UFC? I'm going to have both going. We're going to be doing a stream for the boxing fight. Mm, mm, mm. That's some good coffee. All right, let's highlight these next two fighters here, folks, and I'll give my prediction and I want to hear yours. First heavyweight fight on the main card, ladies and gentlemen. We got. Uh, Ojej Jemijanovs. Damn, I fucked up his last name. Uh, Ojes Jemijanovs. Jemijanovs, that's a cool last name. He's from Latvia, Riga, Latvia, 28 years of age. So I know that our boy Tom here in the channel, the City of Sunrise, he is going to be rooting for him. He loves the Latvian guys. 11 and 3 in his promo May record, okay? 11 and 3, 28 years old, weighed in at 240 pounds. He's from Latvia. He is the favorite, plus 210. He's 4 and 1 in his last five fights. He's going up against a Polish fighter, 26 years of age, who's 3 and 0, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. The 3 and 0 fighter from Poland is going up against the 11 and 3 heavyweight, 28 year old, still young. In heavyweight MMA, but experienced uh, Gemma Jev uh, Gemma Genovos, I love that last name, is Camille Garki Jolek. Camille Jarki Jolek. 3 0 in his pro MMA career, ladies and gentlemen. Minus 270. He is the favorite. That's what's crazy. He's 3 0. So he's the Polish guy, and he is the favorite. I cannot believe that the Latvian guy at 11 and 3 is the underdog, but we will get into who he's fought. They're likely tomato cans at this point. On face value, again, without looking at the fighters that each, each of these guys have fought, I'm like perplexed. I'm blown away that the 3 and 0 guy is the favorite. He's 26 years of age, weighed in at 236 uh, pounds. He's making his walk out to the cage as we speak. Let's take a look at Camille before we. Go back and take a look at the Latvians' record. To keep the comments coming, I will get to them in just a moment, folks. Like this video if you haven't already. Oh my God, the profile picture of Camille is absolutely insane. Pro May record of three and zero. Oh, okay, one and zero oh in KSW. Uh, he fought in Strife one and two before then, where he finished the fight uh, via TKO in the first round. And both of those make that three TKO victories in his Pro May career. He also um, can grapple. On the amateur scene, he went 7-0. There we go. On the amateur scene, he went 7-0. That's why he's the favorite. Looking at his opponent, out of Latvia, Ojes Jemijanovos. He's a big boy, by the way. 11-3. Uh, like I said, 11-3 despite being the underdog. Five wins via KOTKO. One submission. Five decisions. 0-1 in ACA. 5-0 in fr uh, free on promotions. Uh, he's making his KSW debut. He is coming off a win. He won in the first round via TKO in his last fight. Lost in ACA. Then before then was on a 2-4-5 fight win streak. In ghetto fight. Freon. 
uh, and Superior FC. But he rarely gets decision victories. For the most part, he's knocking out his opponents. 26-year-old Camille Jari Jolek, who looks like he is on... Um, like he's on the Alistair Overeem Seagra Juice, or sorry, so the Alistair Overeem's horse meat and or Paulo Costa's secret juice. All right, anyways, back to the comments we go. Back to the comments we go. Those names, yeah, my apologies, folks. I mean, it's not every day that I'm pronouncing Polish names. Again, shout out to the S tier ring girls, flag girls, I should say. What is this NASCAR MMA in KSW? Round one, main card ladies and gentlemen first fight on the main card we're starting with the big boys we're starting with the heavyweights let's get it on right away Jebel Genovus is going for the takedown or sorry he's getting takedown here but Gary Jolek Jari Jolek in the red corner he's number eight ranked heavyweight Jebel Genovus making his pro or sorry, making his KSW uh, debut, as I should correct myself. He's on the bottom right now. Modified half guard. Gary Jolik in the top position right now. I know I lost all the viewers because of me mispronouncing those names. Uh, Going to do part two. That is Bellator. The Bantamweight Championship Grand Prix. I do like how Bellator does a Grand Prix. It just sucks that it's like it's Bellator that does it. But I am excited. We, we haven't heard anything else on the Muay Thai Grand Prix from one championship, the Open Weight Muay Thai Grand Prix. That should be happening at the end of the summer or early fall. Yet shout out to Gravedigger Jones, being an exclusive member of the channel. Three minutes and 38 seconds on the clock here, folks. Jamel Genovs is in the top position right now. Modified half guard side control. He's not postured up yet, but he is throwing those short right elbows, shoulders, and punches. Gary Jolik just absolutely beating up Jimmy Genovos from Latvia here, the 11-3 and three fighter who I thought at face value looking at topology, I was like, damn, this guy... This is a mismatch. He's going up against a 3-0 and fighter. There's no way that he's the underdog. He is, in fact, the underdog, and he is on the bottom here as the number 8th-ranked heavyweight. Who I'm just getting confused here because he's in the blue trunks yet, red corner. 8th-ranked Gary Jolik with three pro fights, two of those being in KSW. He's absolutely manhandling and dominating. Jimmel... Genovs right now. Two minutes and 31 seconds left in this first round. Let me know your predictions for this fight in the live chat, folks. I'm going with the favorite here. I'm going with the favorite. I was originally going to go with the Lavian. Go with the favorite. He's going to win this one. Forgive me if I didn't say that right when the fight started. Absolute domination here. Absolute domination. Keep the comments coming. Two minutes and eight seconds on the clock here. Let's see some of the fighters that... The Latvian is beaten as he's getting beaten here in the top position. Um, yeah, he's crushed a lot of cans. Six and four was his last win. Lost to a five and one guy. Beat zero and four, one and three debut. Yeah, he's just a big can crusher in Latvia. That is why. That is why he is the underdog. And Camille is in that modified half guard side control right now, but he's postured up and he's just laying on hammer fist, just laying down the ground to pound. Camille's absolutely beaten up on Joel Genovis right now. Yeah, and the guys that um, Camille have beaten have been top guys. He beat Marik. He beat da he beat Marik Samuel Ocic, who was four and two. He beat Damian Oswelski, who's three and four. But you know, he, let, let's be honest. He, that, that's some experience. At least and Camille is one and zero. Oh. Speaking of Camille, he is absolutely dominating right now. Still in that modified half guard side control position, but just postured up and just laying down the beat down. Fifty-five seconds left in this first round, folks. Heavyweight bout here, where it's just been so one-sided. Gary Jolik has been absolutely just. Oh, he's getting him the crucifix. Gary Jolik 
Gary Jolik has Jamel Janos in the crucifix position here. The ref could call it. There's 40 seconds here. If he keeps just laying down that left hand, he could call it. The ref could call it here. Crucifix. And that is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. It is all over. You got crucifixed. And the man who looks like he is on Alistair Overeem's horse meat diet and the secret juice all blended in one. That is right. Camille Jari Jolek has destroyed, defeated, manhandled, and embarrassed the Latvian. Ojegs Jamel Janovs. Oh my goodness. If I had my sound pad right now, I would click the oh my god. Wow. I mean, the heavyweight fights delivered, folks. The heavyweight fights both ended in finishes. Crucifixed. You got crucifixed, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go, baby, says Adebayi. By the way, folks, shout out to all of you joining us live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. If you haven't already, like this video. We are trying to get to 30 likes on the video here today. That is right. We are trying to get to 30 likes on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. Fatty Pay should seal this for me in your parlay. Yes, uh, official announcement coming up here in the center of the cage. We will update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. And we will update the graphic on the screen, which I imagine the bout order hasn't changed too much. It already has swapped once, but we shall see. We shall see. I mean, look at his shoulders, man. Good display of respect here, Bia. There's no way this guy's not on some sort of secret juice concoction. You know what I'm saying? Or some sort of horse meat, you know? Okay, so this one should be the next one. Bow order might have changed, but we shall see. The crowd's loving their Polish fighter, who now is 4-0 and oh in his pro MMA career. Oh, my KSW. And I'm watching on KSW TV. It just froze. I'm just going to refresh this here. Shout out to everyone watching, by the way. You guys are amazing. Like this video if you haven't already. Vote in the poll question. And again, if... Your answer, what you want to answer, isn't an option. Please comment it in the live chat. All right, as this reloads here, there we go. Getting interviewed in the center of the cage is Camille Gary Jolik. Let me know if you have any bets going today for KSW. Let me know if you have any bets going today for any other promotions. And there's so much MMA going on today, folks. So much MMA going on today it's absolutely insane again a big shout out to max canones um matt oh my god max canones is an absolute beauty we are live right now folks max canones sent me a reply he sent me highlights of the knee oh my goodness this is amazing Oh, this is awesome, dude. Max Canonis is a bro. He replied to me as well. I'm literally going to tell him right now. I'm just going to tell him right now. Let's do it. Let me know when you're free. You're free to connect. For an interview. So in the meantime, keep us posted on anything uh, you want us to promote. And upcoming fights. Um, what should I say? Team Canonas, let's fucking go.
<laughs> He's gonna be like, who the fuck is like, who the fuck is that guy? So we're live right now watching KSA, but hit me up later and we'll connect to schedule time. All right, dude, that is awesome. That is awesome that Max fucking Canona has reached out to us. KSW loves the secret juice, but honestly, that is why I love KSW. It's an even playing field. If you want to juice, if you want to put sponsors on, Go nuts. We don't give a fuck. We just want the good fights. We just want the nice fights. That's why I imagine there's some rise in KSW back and forth. The fighters uh, jump, you know, jumping back and forth. And just saying, just saying. And look, there's some fighters, as much as one championship loves to do their hydration test and be all safety of the fighters, that which is fine. Let's be honest, there's some secret juice fighters in one championship as well. So, guys, uh, who watched Cage Fury FC with us on Thursday? Who watched Cage Fury FC with us on Thursday? If you guys uh, – oh, this is not the next fight. Okay, we're going to switch this up. Damn it. I hate the KSW doesn't follow the bout order on typology. Or the typology gets it wrong. Next on – we have – oh, next we have – is it Errol Zimmerman? It didn't show. Let me check, actually. Next is... Oh, next is... um The Irishman. Felipe. Sorry, Tapology's bout order is just incorrect right now, folks. So my apologies. My apologies. I did just uh, save a picture that KSW posted on their social media that is the correct bout order. So there you go, there you go. We're back, we are back. Let me know your prediction for this next one, folks. Welterweight, we have Martian Krakowiak against Henry Felipe. I know who Adebayo is picking. I mean, I would, I would not say that because it is a tool that we rely on for these live streams. So I'm not going to say that it's trash. I would say that it has its pros, it has its cons, just like SureDog has its pros and its cons. And I wish like somehow they could just like join forces and make the site that we all know and want. That show all kickboxing and Muay Thai records. That show all MMA records. That's maybe format formatted in a little bit more of a modern way like sure dog but not too crazy and not too just mma bias i don't know it's annoying it's annoying yo sasquatch nhl the best nhl youtube channel on the fucking planet ladies and gentlemen yo dude i can't stay but wanted to pop in and hit the like button for you and know that i'm headed to the first ever C seattle kraken playoff home game tonight let's fucking go that is amazing have a tremendous time have a tremendous time go kraken go kraken they had a tremendous game one i have family in washington as well so let's go kraken let's go everybody subscribe to sasquatch nhl it is the best NHL YouTube channel. It's still up and coming. They started around the same time as we did streaming, but they are unbelievable. Go follow them. They're awesome. Thank you so much. Sasquatch is awesome. I hope they're still here. Sasquatch, NHL. I mean, the quality that Sasquatch produces in his streams and the fun ideas and just how awesome of a person him, uh, he is as well as like just the, the team and the podcast. It's just, they're awesome. Absolutely love them. Cannot sing their praises enough. And he ain't paying me for any of this. This is how much I love the guy. Thank you so much, Sasquatch. It's great to see you. You missed all of that. I missed all of that. Oh, boom! There he is. He's still here. Let's go. Sasquatch, I am literally in your fucking time zone, brother. I'm on Vancouver Island, British Columbia right now, visiting some friends and family. I head back to the States, head back to Minnesota uh, next Wednesday. So I have this little pop-up studio here, and we're watching KSW. I will say, Sasquatch, when, if, if you have, like, when or if you ever have time, go back to, I was going to say tomorrow, but when you have time, go back and watch one championship, Haggerty versus Nongo. 
Yesterday's event was awesome, as well as the Friday fights that was on YouTube earlier that day. Cannot sing the praises enough for one championship, nor KSW, which KSW is awesome as well. Oh, you don't have to pay me anything, dude. You don't have to pay me anything. It's awesome to see you. It's awesome to see you. Have a great... I mean, you had to pay for fucking Kraken playoff tickets, so no worries, no worries. Go Kraken. Let's go, baby. Kraken in seven. That was my prediction. That was my prediction for the series. Let's go. Man, I hope you have a great evening. Send me some pictures. Um, send me, you know, tag me in anything you want me to retweet or, or share as well on, on social. And uh, I can, I just, that, that is amazing. I've, I've yet to go to an NHL playoff game, so I'm just so giddy and happy for you, my man. Will do, you're going to catch the highlights for sure. I had to buy you. The fight will be starting in just a moment, buddy. You'll be fighting in just a moment. Both the fighters are in, or both the fighters are in the cage now. You know how we do. I give the play-by-play -play when the fight starts. I give the play-by-play -play when the fight starts. But I should highlight the next fight. I was just giving some love to our boy, Sasquatch NHL. All right, we're going to highlight these next fighters here quickly before the fight starts. And he's going to fight in about 30 seconds. So I will go quick. We got Marcin Krakowiak, the Polish fighter. He is the favorite, minus 2, 10, 29 years of age, 11 and 4 in his pro make career. He is 3 and 2 in his last five fights. 5 KOT KO, 6 submissions, 0 decisions, 3 and 3 in KSW, 3 and 0 oh in Virtuos Challenge. He lost his last fight in the third round via TKO, but before then was on a three fight win streak. Two of those wins came in KSW. And it's not like he's fought. Just cans, but he has his, his record is a little bit padded. His record is a little bit padded. Round one, let's get it on. Professor Chaos, our second exclusive member in the live chat right now. What's going on? I got one unit on fight. Doesn't go to decision at plus 150. The fight has to start. We'll get right back to the focus play. I play here four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock here. I just want to quickly give some love and highlight Henry Fadipe, born in Nigeria, fighting out of Ireland. He's the plus 170 underdog. 13-9-1. He is on a four-fight win streak. He's 4-1 and one in his last five fights. Oh, my God. His profile picture is amazing, folks. His profile picture is amazing. Ten wins via KOT. Go three submissions. Zero decisions. Look how much bigger he is. Look how much bigger he is than the favorite, Krakowiak. He's got to keep Krakowiak on the outside. Fadipe in the blue gloves, blue corner. Krakowiak in the red gloves, shorts, and corner. But, again... Fadipe, 10 KO, TKO, 3 submissions, 0 decisions, 1 and 0 oh in KSW, 4, 1 and 1 in ESC, 2 and 1 in Clan Wars MMA. He's on a 4 fight win streak right now, Two of those, or 1 of those being in KSW. I'm going with the underdog. I'm going with Henry Fadipe. That is my pick, locking it in. You're my eyes and ears, Isha. Professor Chaos, this doesn't work, buddy. This doesn't work, buddy. And by the way, Professor Chaos, I, I paid the $14 Canadian, $10 USD to watch this on KSW TV because I'm, I'm that much of a junkie. Three minutes and 22 seconds left here in this welterweight fight. But look how much bigger Fadipe is to Krakowiak. Fadipe, though. Buddy, you ain't Michael Venom Page. You got to keep your hands up. What's the reach advantage on these two models? 77 five inch of reach advantage for Fadipe here. Krugokiak for being a shorter guy does have long arms for being only 5'11, but 6'2 is Hercules. Henry Pay or Henry Fadipe. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in this first round. Not a lot of action here. Very strategic. Fadipe doing a good job of keeping Krokiak to the outside, but not landing too much. Yeah, Professor Kels, let me know if it works. There we go, Fadipe with the high kick. There we go, Fadipe with the high kick. Upper low kick by Fadipe. Fadipe, he's got to keep his hands up, man. Two minutes and 21 seconds. You can tell Kirgokak just waiting for that kill shot, and he landed one with that left hook, that counter left, and there's that counter left again. Fadipe's got to keep his hands up. There's now a right by Kirgokak, and it looks like Kirgokak rocked Fadipe there. Felipe tried with a counter knee. I think Felipe still rocked. Felipe went in for a one-two. Krugokrak landed with another counter. Krugokrak has landed a few shots on Felipe. 
Doesn't seem to work, but it's okay as long as this ends with violence. I'm happy. Foul one, if you're still in the chat, help out Professor Chaos. If anyone has a place where Professor Chaos can watch this, let me know. Professor Chaos, if you win big. I just put a little pay-per-view fun with some of my winnings, to be perfectly honest, so I can buy the good events like this one. But I understand people don't want to do that. Ryzen's more expensive. Ryzen's $20 USD, so Canadian, and it adds up. But uh, KSW is cheap. It's the best $14 I've ever spent. I can get tempted again by Fadipe. I can see now why Krugokriak is the favorite. His striking is beautiful. His counter striking is levels above Fadipe right now. One minute and 13 seconds left in this first round. You can shout out to all the exclusive members who've been joining us live here tonight. Or today, I should say. You're amazing. Matt, I'm in Wild Talk. And now, Professor Chaos. 55 seconds left on the clock here. First round. KSW 81, ladies and gentlemen. And we will take a look at KSW 82 and Coliseum 2 as well as those are two great cards coming up for KSW. High kick attempt again by Fidipe. He's really looking to land there. Krokriak. Crack. Koyak. And a nice takedown by Krakowiak. Fidipe plays a little like Venom Page, but he's not Page. No, not even close. Not even close. Fidipe has the full guard closed as Krakowiak. Imagine if Krakowiak played for the Seattle Kraken at the Crack Den. Beautiful ground and pound by Krakow Kriak. And that is the end of the first round. Nice elbows, right hands, right elbows, and right hammer fist. Absolute domination of a round by the Polish fighter. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. But I think Krak Owiak absolutely dominated Henry Fadipe in that first round. Do you think otherwise? Do you have any thoughts on this fight? Let me know in the live chat, folks. We are totally interactive here. We're trying to get to 30 likes on the video as well, folks. 30 likes on the video. I know we can do it. If you haven't already liked this video, we blew past our like record or our like goal last night. Now, do I think we're going to do that tonight? No. Do I think we're going to double our Oh, my mic. My, my apologies. Sorry my mic was so shitty there. Let me know next time if, if my mic sounds It was, uh, again, for some reason my Mac, it, it's not what I usually stream with back home. And here we go, started the second round here. It's not what I usually stream with back home. It's on my main streaming computer. Um, but I am on the road here. This is a pop-up studio. I'm visiting some friends and family in Western Canada. Um, and, and my laptop keeps like rejecting devices that aren't its internal Mac devices. So it keeps rejecting my webcam and now my, my mic. So if the mic goes and you're like, oh, that sounds shitty, just let me know in the live chat. Just let me know in the live chat. Appreciate all you guys, though. 20 likes. We are 10 away. We are 10 away from our goal, ladies and gentlemen. I know we can get there. I know we can get there. Thank you so much for... Joining, thank you so much for liking the video. Fidipe needs to take it to the ground. Four minutes and 16 seconds left. Fidipe was on his back, though, before. Couldn't get anything going there. Krakoriak. Let's see if he starts to gas here. Some nice shots by Fidipe. A one-two by Fidipe and a left by Fidipe. But Krakoriak grabs the single leg of Fidipe and gets him down right into side control. Nine away, just liked. Thank you so much, Professor Chaos. You are an absolute beauty, brother. Thank you so much for liking. I appreciate it. Three minutes and 43 seconds left in this second round, folks. Fadipe trying to employ a high guard here. How is Fadipe's jiu-jitsu at a bayou? Is he good on top? I mean, on his back, he pretty much had the closed guard for the final seconds. I guess minute of that first round, so we didn't really see much. But high guard here, active at least, trying not to let Krakowiak get into side control. Butterfly guard here now for Fidipe. 
Looks like Fadipe is cut right next to his left eye. Add to Bayou. How is the cardio of Fadipe too? Do you think he'll fare better in the third round? Because Krakowiak by no means gassed or is gassing, but did look a little slower in that second in the start of the second round compared to the first. Gucci, what's going on, Gucci? Craft Adriano, did that fight happen yet? No, it did not, buddy. No, it did not. Adibayo, he's good on the ground. He gave them one submission. That has never been done in KSW last time he fought. Um, Oh, the Peruvian necktie. So he's okay off his back. He looks comfortable, but Crack Oweak is employing some solid ground and pound. Keep the comments coming, folks. It's a comment driven live stream. Like this video. We are almost at our goal of 30 likes. Let's get this to 30 likes. I know we can do it. We are so close. We are nine away, folks. If you haven't already liked this video, we're trying to get to 30 likes. That is the goal. One minute and 59 seconds left in this second round, ladies and gentlemen. Crack Oweak inside control right now. Back to his feet. But now attacking the neck of Felipe. Felipe on his knees. Krakowiak on his feet. Attacking the neck of Felipe. Going for that guillotine. That standing guillotine. Drops now. Does Krakowiak. But does not get the guillotine in top position in the full guard of Krakowiak. With one minute and 31 seconds left is Felipe. Left elbow by Felipe. Another left elbow by Felipe. In the full guard of Crack Oweak with one minute and 15 seconds left in this first round. Fifty three seconds left. In this second round, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty-four seconds left in the second round. Felipe ending the round in top position does look good. Does look good. And it's not like he looked terrible on the feet in the second round when they were on the feet for what was it, a minute and some? So there is an argument that Fadipe could win this round. There is an argument that Fadipe could win this round. It could be 1-1 going into the third. I have the Polish fighter, Krakowiak. I have him up two rounds personally. what do you? How, how do you guys score this fight? How do you guys score this fight as the second round wraps up here? I have Krakowiak up two rounds. I have him dominantly winning the first round. I have him narrowly winning the second round, but I can see an argument for Fadipe winning that third round. I want to know. Let me know in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts. Crazy, said Adebayo. Crazy. Yanguchi, happy weekend. Professor Chaos, it's good to see you. Peak Master, as always, it's good to have you here. Sasquatch NHL. I'm going to give a shout out to everyone in the live chat at the end here. CC YouTube, I don't know if you're still here, but it's good to see you, brother. Again, thank you so much for joining us. I know we had uh, Benjamin earlier here, Diego, Aaron, City of Sunrise, Tom, Matt. I'm just giving you guys all a shout out right now. Sage, Foul One, Living with H, Habib. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for joining. Again, uh, I was going to say ring, ring card girls, but flag girls here at KSW S tier. SW promotion, broadcast, girls, fighters, everything. It's amazing. I love it. Third and final round. It could be tied. I got the post fighter winning. Let me know your thoughts in the live. Just starting with a spinning back fist and high kick is Fadipe. It could be tied. If I was Fadipe, I'd still go for the finish. Oh, and Fadipe wobbles. Crack react and he's going for a knee. Fadipe just wants to do some crazy shit here. Throws a knee and caught it was Crack react. Felipe's being a little too crazy here, ladies and gentlemen.
By the way, Gucci, the Kreft fight is next. They're still on their feet here. Looks like Kreft. Koryak is starting to fade. Nice right hand by Felipe. Crack. Oweak is starting to fade. Cash that underdog money. Cash that underdog money. Fadipe might get this done. Fadipe might get this done. He's got to keep this on his feet because he's piecing up Krakowiak, who is gassed. Krakowiak Krak is gassed, ladies and gentlemen. He was dominating Fadipe on the feet in the first round. Fadipe now is getting all the shots here in this third round. He's letting a left hook. Right uppercut. Fadipe piecing up Krak Oweak. He cannot let Krakowiak take him to the ground. Krakowiak is fading hard. He's fading hard. Chris Kess, yes, I went crazy. I'm curious who likes Venom Page as a fighter here. I like Venom Page. Catching the right leg of Fadipe is Krakowiak, and he gets Fadipe to the ground. Fadipe, man, was dominating Krakowiak in the opening frames of this third round. Three minutes and 28 seconds. So if this, this is tied, Fadipe, so far so good in this third round, but he is on his back now. He has to reverse this. He has to either get back up to his feet or get in the dominant position here to really solidify this round. My goodness, what a fight. My goodness, what a fight. I hate Venom Page's personality, but I like his skill set. I think Izzy's... I mean, I think Izzy's worse, personally. But I didn't I didn't fight uh, Peak... Or I didn't, uh, I didn't fight, obviously. I didn't follow Peak Venom Page just towards the end of his career. I like Venom Page. He's an amazing fighter, but I don't know about his personality. I like him doing his DJ on the... Um, uh, MMA hour. That was hilarious. Two minutes and 45 seconds. And, and here in my respect, you know, fighting Mike Perry and BKFC, that, that shit was an absolute war. I see. I feel the same. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this third, or yeah, third and final round. Crack Oyak. Felipe, welterweights here. It could be tied going into this third round or in this third round, ladies and gentlemen. Krakow React definitely got the first round. Felipe could get the second round. I think the Polish fighter got it. Personally, it was, it was close. There is an argument that Felipe could have won that second round. In this third round, on the feet in the first minute and 30 seconds, Felipe was absolutely dominating, piecing up Krakow React. Krakow React gets the takedown, moves into side control here. Krakow if he can get the finish, that is amazing. If he could end in the top position here, he probably will win this fight. Felipe has to get out of this, has to reverse the position and get on top or get a finish or it is all over. And looking to try to get Felipe in the crucifix position is Crack Oweak. Side control still for Crack Oweak. Again, he won the first round. He, I think he won the second round. It was a close second round. Elbow now to the face of Felipe by Crack Oweak. And Crack Oweak, he was gassed in this third round. And Felipe's just letting him manhandle him in top position. Come on. And they're back up to their feet. High kick attempt by Crack Oweak on Felipe. Crack Oweak desperately going for the takedown again. L labored, but throwing one minute and five seconds. This is a gift. This is a gift, Felipe. You have to show the judges that you want to end this, that you want to win this, that you... What the heck is this? And Felipe just gives up position? Just gives up position? What the fuck is this? This is not showing the judges that you want this. This is giving up. This is giving up. Felipe just gave up. Felipe just gave up, ladies and gentlemen. Felipe just gave up full mount to crack Oweak. He literally just gave him full mount on a silver platter. That was embarrassing. Krakowiak, you deserve to win this, brother. 29 seconds left. You're in full mount. Rain, rain down elbows. Make Fadipe pay. Show him that, you know, you, you're a fucking coward. You just gave up here. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. 15 seconds left here in Krakowiak, though he's still gassed. Clearly has more dog in him. Clearly he is a real professional fighter. And she's just laying down the elbows. I shouldn't say he's not a real professional fighter. Fadipe is. You know what I mean, though. That was just absolute disgrace. Ending in the full mount with the elbows raining down is the favorite here. And you know what? Fadipe was given a gift. He was given a gift one minute left in the third, and it was a close third round because I argue Fadipe landed the better strikes in the stand-up. Seriously, Krakowiak didn't do much in the top position on the ground for the second half of the first round. 
and he gets back up to his feet. And if, even if he just outstruck him, man, he would have potentially won that third round. And if he won that second round, he could have potentially won a split decision or this fight. He gave, he literally bowed to him on his knees and then just gave up the full mount. I have no time for that. That's insane. That is insane. Shout out to you. I tip my hat to you, Martian Krakowiak. If the if the judges don't give this to you, it's an absolute robbery. The music is so intense right now in the replays, but uh, yes, good display of mixed martial art, martial arts all around. Yeah, both these guys gassed in the third in the third. Krakowiak showing that he has more dog than that of Henry. Fadipe. Henry Fadipe, your win streak is about to end. Marcin Crack, oh, we act. You're going to get back in the win column, sir. Official decision is upon us. We are listening in, folks. I cannot believe that, folks. That's just that's just insane what happened there at the end. That's just absolutely insane. All right, official decision. We're listening in. Do, 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 do. We're just listening in for the decision, folks. Is this split? No, unanimous. Okay. There we go. Martian Krakowiak wins this one unanimous decision as he should, ladies and gentlemen. That was the right decision in my opinion. Down one unit on this fight. My friend is coming over to watch the UFC, so won't be joining the stream. No worries, buddy. I just love KSW. It's, it's one of those things like Ryzen, like Glory. Whenever it comes around, it doesn't come around often. We got to do it. We got to do it. Much like that of a one championship. LFA is pretty much every weekend. And though I love LFA, even though they blocked me on Twitter, what the fuck, LFA? I'm promoting your shit. I literally got people to sign up to Fight Pass to watch your shit. But anyways, obviously, I... You know, hold no grudge. Um, but uh, but anyways, uh, obviously like LFA and the Cage Furies and the Furies like they're they're Cage Warriors. They're more often so we like showing our love to KSW in these events as well. And I just love KSW. Like I said, Ring Girls S tier, production S tier, commentary S tier. Giving some love to those in North America, C tier, but that's still fine. And the fights, they're awesome as well. S tier, KSW. Shout out to you. Professor Chaos, I will be watching UFC in the background, but yeah, we will be streaming KSW. Then we will be streaming the Tank and Garcia boxing match later tonight. I don't think I don't think I'm going to do the prelims for that one. I'm going to go actually try on some new glasses, some new frames. I get some new glasses. These are 13 years old. I got I got to get new glasses. Um, but then we'll be back for some boxing tonight. But we will have UFC on in the background. Don't you worry, Professor Chaos. It's so awesome to see you, brother. Thank you so much for joining. All right, quick break, folks. On the other side, we will be back for the next fight on this card like and subscribe if you haven't already we are trying to get to 30 likes on this video that is right 30 likes that is our like goal for this stream so like this video if you haven't already we do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat so get your comments in the live chat we are totally interactive we are totally interactive we're gonna highlight the next two fighters on this card and then we will give our predictions and then i want to hear yours folks that's right i want to hear your predictions before or when we highlight the next fighters coming out after the break. Back here live on the City Light Project YouTube channel for this KSW81 fight companion. In two minutes time, don't go anywhere. Refill your coffee, refill your drink, refill your, sna refill your snack bowl. Like and subscribe. Vote the poll question too. And if... The option that you want to vote for isn't in the poll question, is not listed. Comment in the live chat. Again, we're totally interactive. Like, play, 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 commentary, reaction, and interaction. We do fight companions like this every single weekend across the board of combat sports. Back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. KSW81 live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back.
And we are back live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion, KSW81. Thank you, folks, for your patience as we come back from that break. There was an extended break, both because KSW went for a little bit of an interview there, as they do throughout their broadcast here, as a lot of their fans, like, they don't get as much content as we do as UFC fans, as one championship fans, etc., during their events, during the big broadcasts like this, that's where they get their update on news. That's where they get some like exclusive fighter interviews, etc. So there's quite a few breaks throughout the KSW broadcast, but we will be here throughout the entire thing. And B, I also spilled my coffee. I spilled half a pot all over the place. So there you go. There you go. The fighters are still making their walks to the cage right now, folks. So what, what better time? Then to highlight these next two fighters, shout out to everyone who's joining us here. Like this video, we are trying to get to 30 likes on the channel. And by the way, shout out to just Poland, the people, the fighters, the events, the MMA, the women. I mean, some of the most beautiful women that I've ever met in my entire life have been from Poland. Just saying, just saying. Anyways, <laughs> back to the fighters here. We are highlighting these fighters next year, and I'm going to give my prediction, and then I want to hear yours. We have Carolina Oksarks against Adriana Kreft. Adriana Kreft, first one to enter the cage out of Poland. 4-0 and oh in her pro MMA career. She is 5-0 and oh in her last five fights, including one amateur. 125 pounds here are both of these women. Adriana Kreft. Uh, like I said, 4-0 as a pro, 1-0 in KSW. So this is her second KSW fight. She fought in Armia, Revolta, and Runda fighting promotions before then. 2 KO, TKO, 2 decisions. Uh, as an amateur, she went 5-1. and one, And she had three finishes in her 5-1 and one run as an amateur. Uh, she is the underdog plus 115 is Adriana Kreft. Looking at the favorite, minus 145, Carolina Oksarich. Five and two in pro MMA. She is three and two in her last five fights. Minus 145 out of Poland. She is 30 years of age. Zero KO, TKO. Two submissions, three decisions. She is five and two in KSW, baby. Five and two in KSW. She has fought every single one of her pro MMA fights in KSW. She was on three fight win streak when she started off in this promotion, when she started off in her career. Then she lost one, won one, lost one, won one. Looking to get back to getting a win streak going is Carolina. She is the slight favorite. Looking to make a name for herself in KSW. Coming off a win in the promotion is Adriana Kreft. I'm going for the underdog. I'm going for Adriana Kreft. That is my pick. That is my pick. I'm picking Adriana Kreft. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. Round one. I love the bell in KSW as well. I love everything about this promotion. I love every single one of you who are joining us for it as well. Round one. Let's get it on. In the blue corner is Kreft. In the red corner is Carolina. Center of the cage. Again, 125 pounds are both these women. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock if you want to sync up with my stream. We do live play-by-play -play commentary reaction and interaction with all you amazing folks here in the live chat. Going for the takedown right away is Carolina, but she sacrifices her back here and Kreft Knows exactly what she's doing. Kreft seems like she prepared for this. Quickly, quickly scrambles to get out of any arm bar or triangle threat. And actually, Kreft now went for the back of Carolina. Doesn't get it, but now is going for an arm and triangle choke out of side control. Kreft is going for an arm and triangle choke out of side control. Kreft out grappling Carolina who dropped down, gave up her back, and that is it! And just 
When it started, it has ended the underdog. My pick, cash that money, cash that money, cash that money, ladies and gentlemen. Craft, or craft, I should say. Arm triangle choke. Just a minute into the, just, just over a minute into this fight. Cash that money, cash that money. Boom. Arm triangle choke. Look at that. Look at that. You drop to your back. You give up your back because you are... You give up a dominant position because you are content with grappling, but you're going up against an absolute beast grappler in their own right who dominated you. Oh, my goodness. Good left hand by Carolina as we're looking at some of the replays here. But on the feet, man. Kref landed a good right uppercut, and that's when Carolina was like, I want to take this to the ground. Arm triangle choke from side control, and it is all over. It is all over, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Easy win, easy win. And Carolina, another loss in KSW. 5-0 and oh for Adriana Kreft, ladies and gentlemen. And in beautiful fashion. What was it, like 1 minute and 10 seconds into this fight? Wow. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. That is crazy. That is crazy. All right. Announced as the winner. Oh, and look, she's super emotional. Kreft, super emotional here as her name is being announced as the winner. Adriana. Atta girl. She's jacked too. Paolo Costa. He could make a kill in selling the secret juice in Poland. Literally, Paolo Costa's secret juice could be a sponsor on the mat and or on every um, fighter's body tattooed. This fighter's body has been brought to you by the secret juice. It makes you jacked. All right, being... Interviewed in the center of the ring is Adriana Kreft. Uh, there's no English translation, I don't think so. We're listening in. We're going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and the graphic on the screen here. Keep the comments coming, folks. Comment driven live stream. I know there's so much mixed martial arts, so much combat sports going on this weekend. Hell, NHL Stanley Cup playoffs as well. There's just NBA playoffs. There's so much sports going on this weekend. Let me know what you're watching in the live chat as well. I love KSW. I don't care if there's Zero people watching or a hundred. I'm I'm always gonna show some love to KSW. Events like this, rise and glory, that uh, one championship that we don't see every single week. Th those are the cards that we love to do here on the channel. An emotional craft here. Anyways, updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen as we have Wurlison Martins against Patrick Surden next year, folks. And like I said, we'll update the graphic on screen. I'm just updating the ticker right now. Keep the comments coming. It's a common driven live stream. Love every single one of you who join us on these streams. We do fight companions every single weekend, folks, on this channel. We don't just cover MMA. We cover kickboxing, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, as well as boxing, which for the first time and probably ever and maybe even first and the last time on this channel – we are doing a boxing live stream over a UFC live stream over an MMA live stream. Because everyone here wanted Tank versus Garcia, so we're doing it. Now, we're not going to do all the prelims all the way up to the main event, which we usually do on this channel, but we will do the main card. All right. I'm going to update the main screen here, or main graphic here. Interview still going down in the cage, by the way, folks. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Here we go. Oh, she's giving a shout out to Carolina there, her opponent. Good display of respect. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you guys watching this, by the way? I'm watching it on KSW TV. Apparently, the spot that I usually help people out with is is not showing it. If you know a place in the live chat or you want to 
help a brother or sister out in the live chat, uh, let us know. Let us know. All right. We'll highlight these next two fighters in just a moment, folks. Let me know if you got any parlays still going for KSW. What some of your bets are for the rest of the day or weekend in the world of mixed martial arts. As we have this next fight coming up here, let's highlight both of these fighters. We have the Polish fighter, Patrick Serdin. 27 years of age, the prospect, Patrick Serdin, up against Wellerson Martins. Let's take a look at the Polish fighter here, who is 3-2 and two in his last five fights, but he is 7-2 and two in his career, and he's on a two-fight win streak. 2-2 two and two in KSW, 4-0 and oh in Armia Fight Night. His last two wins obviously have been in KSW, both via unanimous decision. Both of his losses have come by, or one of his losses has come by unanimous decision. One of his lo losses has come via arm and triangle choke. He lost to an 11 and seven guy when he was five and oh. Um, so he lost his first two KSW fights, won his last two, looking to extend his win streak is uh, Patrick Serdin. He's won once via KOTKO2 KO submission for decision. And on the amateur scene, he went eight and Oh, looking at his opponent, who's also 27 years of age. These guys are both at 135 pounds. Is the Brazilian Wellerson Martins, who is also the favorite, folks. That's right. He is the favorite, minus 170. The hometown boy, Patrick Serdin, who's getting his own like intro video and everything here, plus 140. Oh, it looks like this is the second time these guys are going to fight. Let me know in the live chat, folks. Again, I'm just starting to really follow KSW every event. This is like my fourth straight event that I've watched in a row here. I was a uh, casual before. But anyways, plus 140, underdog. Patrick Sheridan going up against the favorite, Wellison Martins, minus 170, also one, also 27 years of age. He's 17-5 and five in his pro MMA career. He's 4-1 and one in his last five fights, and he won his last fight. 5 KO, TKO, 8 submission, 4 decision. Wow. If that's not a well-rounded fighter, I don't know what is. 1-1 one one in KSW, 4-0 and oh in Serbian Battle Championship. He freaking fought in Serbia. And 2-1 and one in Shudo Brazil. Shudo Brazil is a great promotion. He beat a 7-3 and three guy in his last fight in KSW, 74 via unanimous decision. He lost to a 9-2 guy before then, but then was on a 3-fight win streak before that. Beat a 10-7 and seven guy, beat a 2-1 and one guy, and beat a 9-10 and 10 guy. All right, so two cans in there, two cans in there. Spawn Brave CF, shoot a Brazil. I mean, man, this guy is a veteran, yet he's only 27 years of age. Um, he is the favorite, minus 170, but, but, uh, but he's fought some cans. Where's Patrick Sheridan? He's making his walkout right now. He beat an 8 and 1 guy. He beat a 5 and 3 guy. He lost a 10 and 3 and 11 and 7. He beat a 7 and 2 guy. You know what? You know, I'm going with the underdog. Cash that money underdog, baby. We're going Patrick Sheridan. I believe Patrick Sheridan has beat the better fighters. He has. Look at his record. He has not crushed cans. He has not crushed cans like Wilson Martins. Not to say that Wilson Martins has only crushed cans throughout his career. Because his last fight, he did beat a 7-3 and three guy. Respectable. Um, he beat a 15 and two guy in 2018, but if you look at the rest of his fights there, tomato cans, I'm going with the underdog here. I think this is a tremendous dog. Patrick Sheridan, the Polish native too. Let's go, baby. Lock it in. That is my pick. Let me know your picks in the live chat. Oh my God. I'm missing comments here. I'm missing comments here. What's going on, everybody? You think my girlfriend will be mad if I take her to get a Costco hot dog for date night? Absolutely not, especially in Canada. You got more options than just a hot dog. Costco in Canada, the food is way better than Costco in the States. I'll vouch for, I'll vouch for that. All I get my girlfriend for lunch is uh, Costa Secret Juice. She's a real jacket now. Hey, bro, you're going to be doing BKFC 41 next week because it's a banger card next week coming. Yes, I believe I will be doing that.
Who do you have in this next fight? Like I said, I got the uh, I got the Polish kid. How's it going, Mike Jones? Our third exclusive member to drop by today. What is up, Mike Jones? What's going on, Mike Jones? Mike Jones, I said to Patrick Sheridan, he is a good underdog. If you look at who he fought compared to who his opponent has fought, my goodness, is he a good underdog. Yeah, Benjamin, wh why is it just going, Benjamin? Happy Saturday, everybody. The biggest card of the year is coming up, though. Ice Wars 3. Yes! 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 Let's go, baby! Ice Wars 3. When is it coming? I got to check it out. When is it coming? We're going to be doing a live stream for that. You better believe it. Ice Wars 3. What, what? When the fuck is Ice Wars 3 happening? I didn't see the news. When is it happening? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. When is Ice Wars 3? It's in Wyoming? Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I'm so freaking excited for Ice Wars 3. This is going to be amazing. I love the walkout song, by the way, for the Brazilian. It's been a good day, says Benjamin. I went fishing this morning, said Benjamin, and got some great fights to watch tonight. It's a good weekend. Ice Wars 3. Yes, so Mike Jones is a promotion that is uh, synthetic ice in an octagon. The former, you know, fighters in pro hockey or still pro hockey players in like, you know, the low level pro f leagues and or lacrosse players in their off season, box lacrosse players in their off season will join this one night tournament. You fight up to three times in a bracket, two, three minute rounds, if I'm not mistaken, or two, two minute rounds, MMA gloves. The rest is full hockey gear in an octagon, synthetic ice, and you just scrap it the fuck out, dude. It's unbelievable, uh, Mike Jones. It's unbelievable. Okay, sick. Oh, it's in Wyoming too? Oh my goodness. It's a hockey fight league. No way, that's awesome. It's straight out of the movie Goon, man. Yes. No, exactly. And it's all inspired by uh, an old one. So that goon one was inspired by in Prince George, British Columbia, Canada, which I like. I lived in Prince George for a little bit. In the 90s. Um, in the 90s, they had a, a night of just um, of just fights. What was it called? What the fuck was it called? They had a night that was that was more like the movie Goon, whereas this uh, Ice Wars is kind of like a cross between like MMA and that. But they they had like an open ice, just straight up fight. Fuck, I forget what it's name. Foul one. What is it? Can you do some googling for me? Was it called Battle of the Hockey Enforcers? Yes. Oh my god, this is what it was. This is what it was. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have the whole event here. I have the whole event here. No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh my goodness, guys. Everybody, subscribe to it. I can't believe it. My boy, Fourth Line Voice. He has a great podcast. It's a hockey fight podcast. His name is The Fourth Line Voice. That's who I'm sharing here. The whole event is here. The whole event here. And this was from 19... Oh no, this is 2005. Guys, Fourth Line Voice. This is my boy. This is my boy, Darren. I uh, I used to help this guy with his podcast. And we're good friends. He has a Hockey Fights Vault YouTube channel. I just posted the link. Subscribe to this channel. And this is what inspired Goon 2. This is what inspired Ice Wars. Oh, my goodness. We got to do some live streams just going through Hockey Fights from 4th Line Voice. But um, anyways, there you go, Mike Jones. Yo, are you going to be streaming UFC or not? No, we're going to be Tank versus Garcia boxing. And I think both of those fighters will win, Jay Herbo. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. So sorry, so sorry. We were just talking hockey fights, and I love that shit. But yeah, oh my god, I'm a hockey fight fiend, man. I started watching hockey because of the WHL, which is used to be the toughest junior league. No way I go against Curtis, Raz uh, Curtis Razor Blades. I will sit that out before I bet against the Razor. Pad by first round KO. I got Garcia. Four minutes and 32 seconds on the clock here. This fight is a banger from Tanger. This fight is a banger from Tanger. Going for the single leg is certain. Certain is the sixth ranked 135er. Martins is the fourth. And again, Martins is the underdog, but Martins has crushed cans in his career, ladies and gentlemen. Ross the boss. 
Ross the Boss Ray. No, but yeah, Mike Jones, please, um, if, if you don't mind, support the Fourth Line Voice YouTube channel. He posts the best hockey fights clips. Screw hockey fights. Fourth Line Voice is all you need. Hell yeah, bro. Tank's weight cuts can... It's, it's, it's gassed him. I have no idea, to be honest. I have to double check. I think so. Again, how many times do I have to tell you? I post the times on the community tab. So I don't have to memorize them. Mike, who do you, uh, who do you pick Blades and Derek Lewis? Who did you pick for the Blades and Derek Lewis fight? But yes, Jay Herbo, I do believe that's it. Three minutes and 26 seconds left. Go for the armbar. Go for the armbar. Martin's just going for the armbar and certain. He's on the bottom position right now, but he has singled out. What? Both of his arms potentially here. Hammer fist, left hammer fist by Certain. Oh my god, going for the arm bars, Martin. Certain trying to get out of this, but it is it is nasty. It is nasty. Certain still trying to escape this. And he does. Certain does escape the armbar here. Two minutes and fifty-five seconds left in this. I pick Certain as the underdog here. Certain still in the top position. Martin's on the ground, but Certain is making the most of being in the top position here. Hammer fist, elbows, you name it. He is punishing Martins fourth line voice yes sir Mike Jones that is my boy uh Derek or Darren Jesus I just read Derek Lewis that's why Darren back control oh my goodness certain has the back of Martins has the back of Martins right now up against the cage double double hooks in but yes Mike Jones that is my that is my that is my boy that is my one of my good friends he puts amazing fight hockey content on YouTube. The best of the best. That is the best vault for hockey fight content. And he posted that entire event I was telling you about. He has a media pass for Ice Wars too. Absolute beauty. His, his, he has a podcast as well. The Fourth Line Voice podcast. It is really good. One minute and 54 seconds on the clock here. And Certain still has the back of Martin's. Softening him up, looking for that takedown. Has the body triangle employed? Shen versus Jean was not a good fight. I'm so hyped for Burns versus Bilal. What about you? I'm pretty hyped. I'm pretty hyped for Burns to defeat Bilal and get the title shot. Not because I thought he wins. I just a huge Lewis fan at the time. I'm going to check him out. Mike Jones, you're the man. I posted the link in the live chat, folks. Here it is again, actually. One minute, 14 seconds here. Shout out to Martins, who still has not been submitted. But certain now, doing a good job of utilizing that back take and just laying down the smackdown with the strikes. Elbows, punches. I mean, he's cut open Martins on the left side of his cheek, and he's really trying to sink in that rear naked choke here. He's got the double hooks in. 50 seconds left. It's not under the chin. It's not under the chin, but certain look for that rear naked choke. I will have it on in the background, folks. However, I got to keep my eyes on KSW here. Thirty-four seconds left. We do have a championship fight on this KSW card as well, folks. The vacant welterweight champion, Chip Belt, is on the line here tonight. Just for the record, I don't think most of us care for the prelims or undercard of Tank versus Garcia. We just care about the main event. Yeah, so I'm just doing the main card. It's just nice to do a whole card. I know. I just feel more complete, I guess. I don't know. Feels like the entire job was done. It's cool to give a shout out to some of those prelim fighters. End of the first round here, folks. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did the Polish fighter... Have a tremendous round here. Um, but yeah, like I'm I'm going to try on new glasses. Okay, guys, I need, I need your help here, actually. I'm going to try on new glasses. Frame. I've had these glasses since 2013. Okay? They're scratched up. They're they're completely fucked. If I look down, they fall down. If I don't have a hat on, that's why I always have a hat on. Should I go with round glasses? Should I go with the same design? Should I go with hipster glasses? You know, the ones that like fucking... I hate to say this, but Jeffrey Dahmer wore. Or should I go with like the bigger, like Brock Faber 
uh, Ray Ban style. Let me know in the live chat. What what whatever the majority is, those are the glasses frames that I'll buy. So let me know what type of glasses frames I should go with next. All right, second round coming up here, folks. So far, the underdog's looking good. Patrick Surden, I have win. I have him winning the first round. Let me know who you think is winning the first round in the live chat. I had no idea hockey fights was a thing. What? Mike Jones. That is why hockey is my favorite sport of all time. It's hockey, MMA, box lacrosse. Because you can fight in box lacrosse too. Costa Demar all day. 80s cop glasses. Let's go, chat. Hockey playoffs are easily the best sport. Super rough in lots of fights and intensity. Yes, the, the NHL playoffs are unbelievable. The BCHL playoffs are unbelievable. The WHL playoffs are unbelievable. And the World Junior Championship is really, really good. It lost unbelievable stats because you can't really fight or do, any, do anything like that in IIHF hockey. But yeah, Mike Jones, hockey is the greatest sport ever made. Other than fighting, but what's awesome about hockey is you can fucking fight in hockey. And back in the 80s and 90s, man, some of the greatest fighters of all time. It was like you'd go to a fight and a hockey game would break out. That was the saying. Even in junior hockey, even these 16 to 20 year olds were duking it out. Four minutes and five seconds left in this fight. Shirley went for the takedown again and got a little too cocky there. Martins with a good reversal. Martins now with the body lock. They're back up to the feet. Martins with a nice tuck and roll takedown to get the back of certain. Martins now has the back of certain. Certain now looking for the reversal. Certain gets the reversal. Certain gets the reversal, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes and 46 seconds left in this second round. Certain inside control on Martins right now. I fucking love the World Juniors. Yeah, that's my Christmas, man. I don't celebrate Christmas. Really, like I do with friends, you know, I'll buy them gifts and I'll go to the Christmas dinners whenever. But like growing up, I never really celebrated Christmas too, too much. Like my peers. Still a holiday season, yada, yada, yada. But I didn't get a bunch of presents or anything like that. Persian culture, right? Um, I celebrate more now than I did as a kid. But anyways, where, where I'm getting at is the World Juniors was, that was Christmas to me. That's what I looked forward to more than fucking Santa Claus as a kid. Great pick, Keisha. Look like the dog might cash. Yeah, I have no idea why Martins is the favorite. Maybe just because he is a ranked tire. But it, again, if you look at who he fought, man, tomato cans, tomato cans compared to guys who were exactly the same or, or who had a better record. And I'm talking about Patrick Sheridan. He was fighting eight and one guys when he was five and oh, right? And he was winning. Shooting with the back control again. Shooting with the back control. Standing up his Martins. Standing up his Martins. Shooting with the body triangle on his back. Backpack style. Two minutes and 31 seconds left to fight for this rear naked choke. Again, this was not a hard underdog to pick if you literally just looked at who, the, who these guys fought. Plus 140 though, underdog. That's pretty good. Cash that money. And he's the Polish fighter. And he's going to get the judges bias. Let's go. Let's go. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock here. Still backpack shirt. And this is going to you know wear Martins down when you're holding another fucking human on your back when you're standing up. You're wasting more energy than if you were fighting him on the ground. Fighting him off on the ground or fighting the hands on the ground is what I mean. And there we go. Back to the ground goes Martins. Shirt is still on his back here, but the guard is getting a little bit higher and higher and higher. Sorry, the back take, anyways, is getting a little higher and higher and higher. Body triangle is security. He's kind of going back and forth with the double hooks and body triangle. Still softening him up. The regardless, shirt in absolute domination. First round and second round here. One minute and 28 seconds left. That cut on the left cheek of Martin's opened up again. It's nothing big, but it's damaged nonetheless. Hooks are in. The right shoulders of both of these fighters are up against the cage here. Martins, an explosive attempt at reversing here. Doesn't get it. The body triangle is not even secured. And it should have been secure here, but good job by Sheridan as Martins, Martins made another attempt at an explosive reversal. Sheridan followed him and stilled 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 him and Sorry about that, folks. Sorry about that. 
Minus 500 live. Let's go, baby. 23 seconds left in the second round. Again, my apologies for uh, my fucking MacBook just rejecting my webcam because it's not an Apple product. Mic sound good? Check one, two. Yes, it does. Let's go, baby. Like this video if you haven't already, folks. We're trying to get to 30 likes on the video. That is the goal here today. It's it's nothing lofty, but I think we can do it. We blew past our 30 like goal yesterday. We doubled it. I don't think we're going to double it today, but let's get to at least 30 likes. We are almost there. End of the second round here, folks. And again, absolute domination by the underdog, Patrick Sheridan. He won the first round via grappling. He won the second round via grappling. He is beating Wellerson Martins at his own game. Now, Wellerson Martins, he's not a bad grappler, as he did give Patrick Sheridan a little bit of a sweat there in that first round where he reversed him, right? Or sorry, in the first part of the second round where he reversed him there. Patrick Sheridan back on top, or sorry, back on his back, I should say. Back on his back, back to back. Back-to-back -back rounds, back on his back, going for that rear naked choke. And the one who's beaten up is Wellison Martin, or Wellison Martin, as he has taken some elbows. He's taken some ground and pound in that first round. That second round, he's been able, or he's had a man on his back, and that's going to wear him down as he's just standing up for a good portion of that time. Third round coming up here, folks. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. And Flag Girl's wearing the green instead of the purple. Which, hey, green's my favorite color, so I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. Round three, let's get it on. Sarah McMahon left the UFC after a win. Did she get cut, or was it because she had a better chance of winning a, be a belt in Bellator? Probably the latter. And that, oh my goodness! And right out of the gate, Martins. TKO on certain. Oh no, my underdog pick. Oh my goodness. Literally, I looked right at the screen and it was over. Certain is still out on the ground. Okay, no, he's back. He's okay. Certain was up two rounds to none. Pure domination. And he gets finished literally in the first 10 seconds of the third round. That was insane. Oh no. My underdog pick, ladies and gentlemen. Leon-esque indeed. Look at the replay here. Look at the replay here. Knee. Boom. Certain got a little too cocky with that grappling, with that ground control. He goes right for the takedown, and he had no poker face with, with it at all. It was easily readable by Martins, and as soon as he went in, Martins, boom! Was he grounded, though, already? Was he grounded? Can you can you knee a grounded opponent in KSW? It looked like both of his knees were on the ground. Maybe just one knee was, but regardless, knees him on the entry, he's out. Clean shot, said Mike Jones. Martins going like this for the belt. I mean, you were getting your ass beat for first two rounds, so chill the fuck out, buddy. They're saying Jorge Masvidal ass. God damn it. I did not I was gonna yell, cash that money, cash that money, cash that money. But regardless, Patrick Sheridan, a damn good fighter, ladies and gentlemen. 27 years old, seven and three, but he's only fought absolute killers. Look at his record, and that was saying fluke is mean, so I don't want to use that, but like that was a lucky shot. All right. It was close, man. It was close. See, because the takedown was a really bad takedown, so it was, like, really low. At least one knee was on the ground. I don't know if both were. Ugh, I'm just... Fuck! But, yes, thank you. Good display of respect by both those guys. Again, you gotta look at who these guys crushed on their way up. That That's how you make the picks, man. Mike Jones, he's taught me well. Goddamn, 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 folks. What a great event thus far, KSW81, ladies and gentlemen. We got a few fights left. We got a few fights left. And there's a ton of MMA and combat sports going on today. UFC, Bellator, Tank versus Garcia, boxing. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. All right, fighters being announced.
The fire is being announced as the winner in the center of the cage. All right, three more fights left on this card, ladies and gentlemen. Three more fights left on this card. We got a pair of Poles. That's right, a pair of Polish fighters. <laughs> On this next fight, again, good display of respect by both these guys. What a fight. What a fight. What a comeback. What a comeback victory. We have Igor Michalson versus Christian Bielski. Welterweights here coming up next. Mike Jones, I got zero parlays for today. Didn't have time to look up all the fighters this week. Drop your favorite Polish joke. I don't have a Polish joke. Like I said, the only Polish people I know, A, they're women. B, they're all beautiful. All right, I'm going to update the graphic on screen here, folks. As Martins is being interviewed in the center of the cage. Keep the comments coming. It's comment driven live stream, as you know. Love the interaction, folks. Love the interaction. Dogs going off about something. Again, back home in my office slash studio back in Minnesota in, a, in about a week. A few more streams here in the pop-up studio, folks. Thank you so much for your patience. Throughout some of these technical issues, but it hasn't been too bad. First day was the worst. We've kind of just got used to it now. Mine is the long, drawn-out one that Norm MacDonald told. I'll have to look that one up. I probably heard it. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right back into it. Three more fights left here on the card, ladies and gentlemen. Featured fight is coming up here against a pair of poles. And then we have the Coleman event heavyweight bout followed by the main event of the evening for the vacant welterweight strap. Let me know your predictions for this next fight. Let me know your predictions for any of the fights coming up on UFC as well. If you guys want to talk some UFC, let me know. UFC starts in 15 minutes. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, by the way, you should I DM'd you a link to Costa's prescription frames. Oh, I'm checking them out right now. I am checking them out right now. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Thank you. I literally thought you meant Paulo Costa. <laughs> I literally thought you meant Paulo Costa. That's so funny. I thought you literally had the link to Paulo Costa's glasses. That's so funny. By the way, where's Jaden at? Jaden was texting me yesterday. Jaden was texting me yesterday being like, yo, 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 you doing KSW? And I was like, fuck yeah, bro. I even woke up this morning in a panic. I was like, oh shit. I forgot to set up KSW last night. Jaden's going to be pissed. Jaden's not even here. 50 minutes is correct. Okay. I'm going to grab the remote here in a bit and get it on the TV. <laughs> uh, -bum wow i'm surprised about jared gordon's plus 300 odds after being losing convincingly in his last fight <laughs> jared gordon dominated pat in his last fight how was he plus 300 that's crazy that's crazy Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm just getting the UFC card up on Tapology here too, so I can follow along with some of the UFC talk here, boys. Dun, 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 dun. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? April. Pat 
Pavlovich Blades. All right, what are the odds for that one? I mean, yeah, this is not the best UFC card, let's be honest. And you got Bruno Silva and Brad Tavares in the co-main event. I mean, come on. Bobby Green, Jared Gordon, though. Like, I, I fucking love Jared Gordon. I, lo I love Bobby King Green. Jared Gordon plus 215 on topology. Cage Fury FC champion, Jared Gordon, by the way. Bobby Green is a dog. Excuse me, a king. Dude, I fucking love Bobby Green. Green looks super drawn in uh, though from the weight cut. Oh, no. And he looked good against Dober until he got knocked the fuck out, too. Um, so, yeah, Bobby King Green. You gotta love him. Bully beat down and UFC slash strike force legend. Bruno Silva may be the first person to knock out Brad Tavares tonight. Brad Tavares is so past his prime. Why don't Polish women use vibrators? It chips their teeth. I bet Mike Mike Jones is like unhinged now. He's just gonna keep going, Benjamin. He's just gonna keep going. I'm gonna I'm gonna let Benjamin rate which one is the best one here, folks. I'm gonna let Benjamin rate which one's the best one here. Mike's got Bruno. All right, let's highlight the next two fighters here. Igor Michalzen, nine and two in his pro MMA career. He is the favorite minus two sixty. He is four and one in his last five MMA bouts. He's on a four fight win streak as well. He's twenty six years of age. Three KO TKO, three submissions. Three decisions. He is one and zero in KSW. Three and zero in Spartan fight, and two and one in RWC. Four fight win streak. Like I said, he beat a ten and four guy in his last fight. A twenty one and five guy in his fight before. Five and two and eight and three. So he has not crushed cans in his four fight win streak. Looking at his opponent, Christian Bielski. 9-4 in his pro MMA career. He is plus 200. He is the underdog. He is out of Poland as well. 9-4 in his pro MMA career. 3-2 in his last five fights. He did win his last fight, though. Uh, 4 KO TKO, 1 submission, 4 decision. He is 1-0 and o in KSW, 0-0 in o in ACA. He won in his KSW debut via TKO in the second round up against an 11-3 guy. He competed in FEN, which is another good Polish promotion before this, where he went 2-1 and one in FEN. You got a unanimous decision and a TKO win in that promotion. I will say the two guys he did win against in that promotion were Cans, 9-7, 3-1. Yeah, let, let, let's just say he's fought more Cans in his career than his opponent there's a reason his opponent is the favorite if you do look at the amateur record though he did go five and two as an amateur did christian bielski i'm going with igor i'm going with igor mitchell season minus 260 favorite he's the favorite for a reason he has been crushing and fighting absolute killers in ksw and in his career that is who i'm going for that is who I'm going for. That is my pick. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Half of Mike's comments don't show up for me Some for some reason. I think it mainly happens with the channel members. Pull up in a tree is good. So far, the vibrator joke is the best, is the better one. Dan Benjamin, you're missing some good comments. Neither of those jokes showed up in the chat only when Isha showed them on screen. Also, oh, YouTube doesn't like those jokes. Goats are known for editing tin cans frequently. Coincidence? <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. On the other side, we will be back to 
give you some more live play-to-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. And of course, UFC will be starting as well. We will be commenting on UFC as we continue on with these last few fights for KSW. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. We are trying to get this video to 30 likes. That's right. We are trying to get this video, KSW 81, live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel, to 30 likes. I know we can do it. We blew past our like goal last night. Now I don't think we're going to get to 60 likes on this KSW stream. But I know we can get to 30. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We do live fight companions every single weekend, folks. A minimum of two, up to six on the weekend. This weekend, rich of combat sports, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this pop-up studio. I'm visiting my friends and family out here on the West Coast of Canada. And we're still streaming. We're going to do Tank Garcia later for boxing we'll talk about ufc uh throughout the duration the last duration of this ksw stream but before all that we're gonna take a quick break on the other side back for the featured fight on this card ksw 81 then we will go right over to the co-main event and main event while ufc is also going to be on in the background for me so we can talk about that as well back on the other side refit your drink refit your snack bowl we got KSW81 and UFC live on the other side here. Don't go anywhere, folks. Like and subscribe. Vote in the poll question. We're going to be back in two minutes. That's right. Two minutes back on the other side. Don't go anywhere. Live here on the Say Light Project YouTube channel.
we are back live here in the City Life Project YouTube channel for yet another live fight companion. We are back in Poland, KSW 81, last three fights on the card, ladies and gentlemen. Featured fight is upon us, then we go right into the co-main event, then we go right into the main event, and UFC is about to start as well, so we, we're like double dipping as we're going to have the UFC on in the background as well, and we'll comment on everything that's going on in the UFC, and we will also continue to provide you with live play-by-play, -play, live commentary, live reaction, and of course live interaction for KSW81. By the way, KSW82 and KSW Coliseum 2 are going to be unbelievably fun cards, ladies and gentlemen. You better believe that we will be streaming them live here on the channel. Um, blah, blah, blah. Burger King has an MMA promotion. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, blah, 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 blah. My pair going to murder Luke. That's not this weekend, right? That's next weekend. The Alvarez, uh, Mendez, Perry, and Rockhold fight. I can't wait for that. Yeah, I, I said this the whole time. I said, if Luke Rockhold wants to compete in fighting, he should go to one championship, do kickboxing and grappling simultaneously. The guy's kicks are insane. Now, he's not a bad boxer, but his kicks are insane. I'm going Brady by decision. He sold all around his debut. Was a bad showing. I'm also picking Platinum. Hochhold has kicks, and that's about it. And he's got good grappling, let's be honest. Lots of close fights tonight. 29th. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go. It's so good to see Mike Jones and Benjamin in the chat here today. All the regulars have dropped by and said what's up, and I absolutely love it. So that's annoying. Um... I mean, I guess I could simultaneously run fight pass on this computer at the same time, but I don't really want to because I'm lazy. I could maybe do it on my phone. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. The guy who I picked to win this one is now walking out to Eminem. Done. Done. I knew I picked the right guy, but I'm going to eat this little piece of chocolate here. Don't mind me. Three hours and 18 minutes into this stream, me munched on some chocolate. Happy Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just loading up UFC um, on Tapology right now so I can take a look at this first prelim. Is there only one fight on UFC Fight Pass, like on the Fight Pass prelims today? I know you guys are in the States. You're just watching on ESPN Plus, but still. I'm curious. Good song. Mm -mm -mm. Brady Highstand. He was the ultimate fighter winner. Not winner, but finalist. And he lost his first UFC fight. He's out of Spokane. Only 24% of Tapology have him winning the first fight or winning the fight. Six and two, won his last fight. Going up against a guy who's the favorite. Ooh, so Heisen is the underdog. <laughs> Interesting. Logic over Eminem? Ah, nah. I do like logic, don't get me wrong. I can't I can't do that though. Inspired by similar, just as good in some albums, some cases, yes, but overall, can't do it. First UC fight zone. I'm gonna miss it. It's not on TSN. Just kidding. Oh, a huge OF on the... Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh no, OFI. Okay, it's a different brand. I thought it was just straight up OnlyFans. In the red corner is our boy. Mikolas Sisson. <laughs> 26 years old. Is Igor... 
30 years old is Bielksi. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. Let me, your, let me, let me know your pick. Funny, Brady Highstand going up against Bat Gerald uh, Dana. But Gerald Dana, 33 years old. 23 years old is Highstand. He's a youngin. He's a baby. Do I like NF? What's NF? All right, folks, round one. Let's get it on. Just like that. Just like that. Both fighters are in the cage. Both fighters are ready to go. I love how they announce them as they walk out. The ones are in the cage. We're ready to go. Patriots fight is on right now. Four minutes and 46 seconds is on the clock here. Mikolas season. In the red corner, he's the eighth-ranked fighter. He is the favorite, and for good reason. He is a little bit taller than Bielski. It says they're the same height, but you can definitely see <clears throat> Miko season is a little bit taller, and he has two inches of a reach, pretty much three inches of reach advantage. Now, what's NF, Benjamin? Oh, and a nice shot by Bielski. Body kick by Nicholas Season. Bielski is not ranked. Both of these guys look like they're on the Secret Juice or they work with Paulo Costa as well. That's what I'm saying. Secret Juice needs to just become a sponsor. Screw Monster. Let's just get Secret Juice as the official sports drink of KSW. <clears throat> NF is a rap that sounds similar to Eminem. No, I do I don't think I've heard of him. I'll look it up. Three minutes and 36 seconds left. Good job by Bielski here. Land some nice shots on <clears throat> Mikola's season. I know I'm probably butchering his name, but. A nice exchange there by both these fighters. <clears throat> I guess I just I should just call him Igor so I can stop butchering his name. Igor in the red corner. He is the favorite. He's the number eighth ranked welterweight. And again, we have the vacant welterweight title fight as the main event here tonight, folks. <clears throat> Michael Chandler walks out to them. Oh, interesting. Brady is losing. Live favorite, too. This is a scrap, ladies and gentlemen. Neither of these guys have threatened for the takedown yet. Bielski starting to swell left side of his eye. Igor wearing some of the damage on the left side as well. Both these guys will never get into the pocket. They each land some nice combos there by Bielski. And a great job by Igor for timing the takedown. Great job by Igor for timing the takedown. Two minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock here. <clears throat> vote in the poll question you haven't already folks and like this video we are trying to get to 30 likes on this video that's it we're just trying to get to 30 likes on the video folks that is our goal here tonight we are so close like this video if you haven't already subscribe 30 years of UFC baby 1 minute and 44 seconds left on the clock. <clears throat> Inside control is Igor. Oh, that modified half guard side control. Not doing anything with it right now. I mean, this is a pretty even fight thus far. If Igor can do something with the ground control right now, even landing a few short elbows here and some good shots here, that could be enough. That's like, okay, this was worth it. He's going to solidify winning this round. 10-9, Dana, Brady going to get KO'd, says Mike Jones, as they're commenting on the first prelim fight of UFC Fight Night, Blades versus Pavlovich. We got it on in the background, folks. We're commenting on we're commenting on KSW and following along with that a little bit more closely here. But don't worry, don't worry. We're following UFC as well. Side control again by Igor. Looks like Igor might be bleeding here. Some elbows from the bottom by Bielski might have cut him. Oh, and here we go. Some nasty elbows. Left elbows by Igor here. Igor laying down some ground and pounding. He's on his feet. 
using that momentum to get some hard shots down on Bielski. 35 seconds left in this first round. Was that enough by Igor to win this round? Was that enough by Igor to win this round? Let me know. Let me know. Live odds are wrong, says Mike Jones. Let me know your thoughts on this first round here, KSW81. If you're just, or if you're just watching UFC and you're like, Isha, I'm just here hanging out with you, listening to you talk about KSW and watching UFC, that's fine as well. 10 seconds left in this first round. Igor on top. Igor landing some nasty right elbows and some hard shots here. Five seconds left. Let's see if he can land one more shot. He does land one more shot here, and that is it for the first round. Let's go Igor, says Mike Jones, and I believe Igor won that first round, ladies and gentlemen. It was a close first round as it was close on the feet, but as soon as Igor got the takedown, he did land some shots on the ground, okay? Nothing crazy, not a lot, but he did land enough, in my opinion, and you can see that his opponent, Belsky, is wearing some damage. Again, shout out to KSW for the great music that they play between the rounds, between the fights. Shout out to KSW all around. ST ring girls, let's go. And production, and production. Dang, Brady got dropped fast in that second round. Mike Jones called it. Mike Jones called it. He called it. Shout out to Mike Jones, by the way, being an exclusive member. Zoomer Loyalist, what is up, G? Zoomer, it's been a few weeks. How's it going, buddy? I'm just visiting my friends and family right now. Back home, BC, Vancouver Island. Pop-up studio here at my folks' house. Streaming some KSW. How are you, Zoomer Loyalist? Did you watch one last night? Did you watch Nongo get knocked the fuck out? After being dropped twice by Haggerty? Round two, ladies and gentlemen. In this featured fight, we're moving on to the co-main event next. We got UFC in the background, though. If you want to talk about that, that's all good. That's all good. Four minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here for KSW. 81 featured fight here. Igor, Mikola's season against Christian Belsky. Igor with a nice right hand. Igor with a good right hand again. Igor walking forward. It looks like he might have rocked Bielski. Igor going for the takedown. Bielski fine with giving up the position and just rolls onto his back here. Bielski in the back, on his back right now, taking some nasty left elbows from Igor. Igor short elbows here. I don't know why Bielski just succumbed to this position so easily. He's busted up, says Mike Jones. Zoomer, it's good to see you. It's good to see Benjamin, Mike Jones, everyone who made an appearance here in the live chat today. You guys are awesome. I will give every single one of you a shout out too. So if you comment, if you've been just chilling this whole time, but you're shy, you don't want to comment, don't want to get, get involved in the conversation, that's fine. I appreciate you for liking this video. But just say hi if you want to shout out because at the end of this stream, I will shout out every single one of you who comments in the live chat. Three minutes and 47 seconds left on the clock here. By the way, folks, for those who joined us on Cage Fury, remember that knee in the prelims? Remember that knee in the prelims? Max Canones messaged Kyle and I on Facebook and asked if he could clip up the reaction for his Instagram, and he's going to come on the channel. He's going to come on the channel, dude, for an interview. Side control right now for Igor. Dude, Max Canona is going to come on the channel. He's got some exciting news. Imagine if he, like, announces that he's on Contender Series on the channel or something crazy like that. Crucifix position! Crucifix position! Igor has Bielski in the crucifix! Igor, elbows, short elbows, crucifix, short elbows by Igor here. Left, short elbows, punches here. Crucifix position. Two minutes and 47 seconds. The ref's going to end this. The ref's going to end this. And what a reversal! What a reversal! By Bielski. Relentless pressure though. Igor gets the takedown again. Or at least just pushes him back on his back here. And he's back in the modified half guard side control. The official almost ended the fight. Now my new work hours have kept me away from a lot of non-UFC cards recently. I'm going to UFC Charlotte though in May. That is awesome, Zoomer. Going with a couple of friends, got some bleeders for 115 apiece after all the fees and taxes. That's not bad, buddy. That's not bad. Have a great time there. And it's great to see you here today, buddy. I've been just on the grind with all the all the other promotions, UFC included. Back in the crucifix! He's back in the crucifix! Bielski's back in the crucifix! 
Doing a good job of sprawling, but taking some short elbows again. Back of the crucifix. Who is this Igor guy? Who is this guy? He is unbelievable. Brady is hurt bad, and so is Christian Bielski. Elbows. His forehead is bleeding. Elbows, elbows, elbows to the side of the head. The ref is going to end this. The ref is going to end this. And that is it. That is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And look at that Igor. Just screams to the crowd. Jumps up on the cage. His secret juice-filled horse meat-fueled body is just jacked up to the nines up on the cage right now. Secret Juice, the official drink of KSW. Oh my goodness, what a win. Look at the face of Bielski. He just looks at the camera and sighs. Oh, I got fucked up there. Back to back crucifix. Back to back crucifix. He got crucified. He got crucified. Commenting on the UFC fight 2018 data coming out of that second round. Brady is hurt bad. Oh my goodness, what a featured fight. What a KSW card, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's not a crazy one. We don't have too many people here in the live room. We got the regulars and that's okay, but what a card it has been. We're on to the co-main event of the evening here next, folks. We got some big heavyweights. I can barely breathe. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. And again, the music, just the crazy instrumental music that's playing for KSW right now, getting you pumped as hell. It's unbelievable. We'll update the graphic in a sec here, but we will listen to the official announcement. Good display of respect by both the camps and these fighters. Wasn't tuned in, but your reaction gave me a good visual of what is going on. Yeah, I'm getting an aneurysm right now. Brady and Pretty Ricky both doing rough in the UFC. Yeah, that season wasn't a great season as far as producing talent. Benjamin, I bet him live at plus 105. He's minus 800 now. Brady busted bad. Now, if that if the prelims were on OnlyFans, that would be the comment of the night, Diego. Boom, boom, shh. Brady's corner thinks it's 1-1. And I say the OnlyFans thing is Cage Fury was on OnlyFans. Again, shout out to Max Canones, who's fighting on the prelims. He's the one that landed that sick knee on the Cage Fury FC prelims. He saw our reaction here, messaged me, asked if he could use the reaction on Instagram, and he's going to jump on the podcast on the show next week, and he's got some news to announce. That is unbelievable stuff. That is unbelievable stuff. I cannot wait. Shout out to... Max Canones. And I, I don't think I mispron mispronounced his name. Or else he probably would have told us. But anyways. We will update the ticker on the bottom of the screen here, ladies and gentlemen. Being interviewed in the cage are both of these fighters right now together. Which is interesting. I don't know what the hell they're saying. Alright, we're updating the graphic on the screen here, folks. Co-main event of the evening and it's crazy because the co-main event of the evening the fighters don't have that much experience as you will see here but they're heavyweights they're big boys and apparently they're going to throw down and one guy is going to get knocked out which is probably why they booked this so here we go here we go KSW Hopefully, we don't have a huge bit of buffer time as we already are three hours and 34 minutes. Hopefully, they just, they just go right into the co-main event. And the main event, KSW, Notorious. And again, I don't blame them because they don't have like a ton of social media, like a one championship in their YouTube channel, which is buzzing UFC, where they're just constantly providing news and, and content and things like that. So they get a lot of their news. They get a lot of their content from their big events. So they're, they're naturally going to like break off, talk about the league and things like that. So I understand it. It doesn't bother me that much. Brady and Kiesa need to ditch that camp and find somewhere better. Brady needs a new corner. Obviously he needs a finish living with H what's going on. What's going on living with H. All right, co-main event is upon us here. KSW 81, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited for this next fight. Very excited for this next fight. I should turn that down. There we go. 
And it looks like we're rolling right on to the co-main event of the evening. We shall see. We shall see. How long are you in Canada? Until the April 26th, my man. I'm flying back to Minnesota on the 26th of April. You're back in the States. Just in time for Hoppy's birthday. Let's go, baby. Again, like and subscribe if you haven't already, folks. We are trying to get this video to a whopping 30 likes. Where are we at with likes right now? Where are we at with likes? I'm going to check. I'm going to check. More Eminem in the background. That is awesome. His walkout song. Unbelievable stuff there, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable stuff. 28 likes. Let's go. We're almost at our like goal. We are almost at our like goal, folks. Two more likes. If you're watching this video and you haven't liked this video, please consider liking this video. 29. One more like and we get to our like goal, folks. One more like and we get to our like goal. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Vote in the poll question you haven't already as well, folks. Almost at 100 votes. That is awesome. Best MMA promotion outside of the U.S. of A. 30 likes. Let's go. If I had the button right now to give the Jamaican horns, I would hit the Jamaican horns and it would be going. Wah, 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 wah. Thank you so much. We have reached our like goal on the video. That is amazing. We have two more fights. We have two more fights. Do you guys think we can get to 40? Do you think we can get to 40? If you haven't liked this video yet, consider liking. We hit our goal. That is amazing. So I'll stop like pepper, peppering you guys like every five minutes for. But hey, do you think we can get to 40? Do you think we can get 10 more than our original goal? That would be amazing. If you haven't already, please like this video. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you. But back to the poll question. Again, the fucking freaks. We hit 30 likes. That is awesome. If you haven't liked, keep liking this video. As the more likes we get while we are live, the more people join our great community here. Damn, it looks like we got a little bit of a buffer time between the co-main event and the main event. That's okay. We'll comment on UFC as we continue here. But anyways, the best MMA promotion outside the U.S. of a comment in the live chat if your pick is not listed. KSW, one championship, Ryzen or M1 Global. M1 Global, a measly 2%, Ryzen 6%. 30 for one championship. I'm not surprised, motherfucker. KSW, 62%. Let me know who you voted for in the live chat. And thank you so much for liking this video. Keep the likes coming. Look, we hit our goal of 30 likes, and that is amazing. And I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you who liked this video. Let's try to get this bitch to 40. Let's try to get it to 40. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. You all are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us here today for KSW. All right. Coleman event of the evening is coming up here next. There's a little break in action as the broadcast is just teeing up the main event of the evening, but we will tee up the co-main event of the evening in just a moment. Brady is young. If he switches gyms, he'll be just fine. Brady got it, says Benjamin. Brady won TKO. Bullshit stoppage, says Mike Jones. Announcers were right. Dana just gave up. For some reason, I don't. I just I have KSW on this one computer, and I don't want to like double screen this this other computer. I didn't watch that fight. I was just listening to how you guys. Um, for some reason, that one just wasn't on TSN in Canada, but it was on ESPN, so I missed that one. But that's a crazy comeback win by Brady Heistan. Benjamin's underdog pick. Announces are right. Dana just gave up. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable way to start the UFC card. I just switched to TSN in six minutes' time. I will have the UFC fight on in the background as well. KSW TV is where I am watching KSW 81 right now, and it's been a hell of a card. A hoot and a holler, some might say. Let's check it out here. KSW 81. Uh, first fight, unanimous decision, but a great fight. Sec, two submissions in a row. KO, TKO, unanimous decision, submission, two KO, TKOs. And now we are at the co-main event of the evening. Let's highlight these next two fighters, folks. Let's highlight these next two fighters. Keep the UFC talk coming if you want, folks. Totally fine with that. It would be wise of Brady to just pack his bag, move to Australia, and train with Volk. Guru starting the UFC card off with a wrong pick. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. No, he's usually right. He's just bad with the main events usually. He's just bad with the main events usually. I don't watch a lot of the Guru's live stuff. I'm going to be perfectly honest, but I do like his videos. I watch pretty much every single one. I treat it like a podcast. I don't necessarily sometimes, I don't necessarily watch them visually. I listen as I'm doing my shit. Cleaning, working out. Brady just took a beating. He does not need to be getting right back in there. 
All right, we are uh, highlighting the next two fighters here. Co-main event, co -main event of the evening here, KSW81. Tomas Sarara against Iro Zimmerman. Zimmerman has three M's in his last name. Sarara has three A's. This is the battle of the three-letter last names, ladies and gentlemen. That was a reach for some way to promote this fight, but it's actually pretty incredible. <laughs> Sarara, one and one in his pro MMA career. He's 37 years of age. He weighed in at 233 pounds. He stands 6'3". He has a reach of 75 inches. He's out of Poland. He is the minus 210 favorite. He's one and one in pro MMA career. In his pro MMA career. Excuse me. One and one in KSW as well. Won his first fight in KSW. Uh, in third round TKO. Lost his second fight in KSW and a second pro fight um, in, via TKO in the third round. Before then, he, he was actually a talented kickboxer, and he was on a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 fight win streak in kickboxing before joining Mix Martial Arts. So stand-up fighter at heavyweight. This is going to be fun. Up against the slight underdog from the Netherlands, who's also 37 years of old. Or of age. Jeez, of old. 37 years of age. Weighed in at 262 pounds, standing 6'3", and has 80 inches of reach. Are you kidding me? These are some big boys. 0 in 1 is Bone Crusher. Ero Zimmerman, 0 in 1 in his pro MMA career. He's 0 in 1 in K1. He's a kickboxer as well. He is on a two-fight win streak in kickboxing, but he lost his last... MMA fight, ladies and gentlemen. Very talented kickboxer. Uh, he went on a win streak between, and he's been fighting for a while, but between 2006 and 2008, very active, and he went on a win streak of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 fights, which is unbelievable, and he's been fighting in K1. Mostly kickboxing in K1 for pretty much his entire career. K1 is one of the best kickboxing promotions in the world. He's fought in glory between 2012 and ba, 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 2015. He fought in glory. He's fought in one championship, KSW and Mega Fight Arena. Both of these guys, veterans, both of these guys, old, both of these guys putting on a show for the KSW fan at heavyweight. Let me know your prediction in the live chat. Fuck, who am I going to go with? I'm going with the underdog. I'm going with Errol Zimmerman. I'm going, again, in the battle of the three-letter last names. Am I going with Sarara with the three R's? Or am I going with Zimmerman with the three M's? I'm going with the three M's. I'm going with Zimmerman. He's a slight underdog, plus 170. This is going to be his first pro MMA win. That is my pick. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. Brady called out Christian Rodriguez. Dana was so far ahead. All he had to do was move and he would have won. I got Francis Marshall in the next UFC fight, says Diego. I'm taking Marshall, Benjamin. What you think he can do it? I'm not sure. I think I can still bet on the dog. All Dana had to do was roll over and hold guard for a minute and a half. I don't know either of these two guys, so I don't have a prediction for this one. Fair enough, said so Mike Jones. I'm going to flip a coin, I guess. Let's go tails. Marcelo Rojo was pretty rough, though, and Marshall knocked him out, so I'll go with Marshall. What's going on, DM? I got UFC in the background, bro, but it's KSW fucking 81, DM. It's KSW, brother. We're watching KSW. We're at the co-main event of KSW. We have two legendary heavyweight kickboxers going at it here in the cage for KSW 81 in the co-main event. It's going to be fireworks. These guys have reached for days. These guys are over six feet tall. It's going to be unbelievable. Mike Jones says, let's go 0-1. DM, it's great to see you, brother, but we're watching UFC in the background right now. I literally have UFC on in the background right now. So we good, DM. No need to panic. No need to panic. But we are watching KSW as well. Um, and you know what? You know what I'm going to do for you, DM? 
Don't say I never did anything for you, DM. Don't say I never did anything for you, DM, because we are also quickly going to highlight these next two UFC fighters who are in the K who are entering the cage right now. That way, that way, you ain't, you ain't mad at all. So there you go. There you go. Um, bah, 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 bah. I'm just bringing it up on topology, Pavlovich blades, and I'll give my pick and prediction. We got Francis Marshall against William Gomez, ladies and gentlemen. William Gomez is in the cage right now. He's from France, 25 years of age. Um, it says he missed weight on Tapology by a pound. Uh, 11 and 2. He's on a five fight win streak. He is a slight underdog, plus 170. Six KO, TKO, one submission, four decision. He's 1 and 0 in the UFC, 5 and 2 in 100% fights. Like I said, oh, he's on a huge win streak. Two, four, six. Uh, eight, nine fight win streak right now. He's fought in AU Warriors. He's fought in Cage Warriors. He's fought in Aris and UFC. Uh, he fought a thirteen and three guy in his last fight. An eleven and five guy in Aris. A six and one guy in UAE Warriors. A seven and three guy in Hexagon. And a nine and one guy in Cage Warriors. He has not fought Cans since making the step up to actual legit promotions. His opponent. Francis Marshall, 7 and 0, undefeated, minus 210 favor, 24 years of age. Obviously, seven fight win streak since he's undefeated. Uh, one KO TKO, four submission, two decision, one and 0 in the UFC, one and 0 off contender series. Uh, he beat a 5 and 0 guy in contender series when he was 5 and 0, and he beat Marcelo Rojo. Marcelo Rojo, 16 and 8, experience on his side there in the UFC. Uh, crush some cans. On the way up, a seven and six guy, twenty four and thirty guy, three and two guy. As an amateur, he went five and zero. Oh. I I'm picking the underdog in that one. To be perfectly honest, I I would pick William Gomez in that one. If Francis Marshall takes it to the ground, sure, maybe Francis Marshall is better wrestling and better better grappling. Gomez has fought in better promotions and beaten better guys. That's my pick, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! There you go, DM. Let's go, baby. Marshall sprinting to the ring like it's WWE. DM Marshall for the win. I miss Anthony Johnson. Yes, indeed. I'll stay around. Then I did panic. <laughs> it's good to see you, DM. I'm just very animated. I'm like three or four cups of really, really strong coffee. And so I'm just literally buzzing out of my seat right now. And it's been such a tremendous KSW event that I am just absolutely buzzing. All right. Marshall and Gomez uh, have just touched gloves. As the intro... For this KSW fight is continuing on here. It's been a long one. We are watching Marshall and Gomez. Gomez with the reach advantage. Oh my goodness. Francis Marshall running fast to the octagon. Let's go Marshall. He's hype. I have three two leg parlays today. High Stan and Yaya Pav. Lovich round one and Bruno Silva, Jared Gordon and Lucindo versus Walker under two and a half. Uh, yes, Kreft won. Kreft won. Kreft, um, I believe it was a crucifix position. She crucified her. Nice body kick by Gomez. Again, we got the UFC fight in the background here as we watch the KSW co-main event of these heavyweights start to make their walk out to the cage right now. But we've got UFC on the background. So if you want to talk UFC, we can do that. I smell cigarettes and whiskey. Fight doesn't go the distance. Minus 110. Tank versus Garcia going to be lit. Yes, we are going to be streaming the main card for that as well, DM. So I hope to see you on that stream. We rarely stream boxing over UFC, but we're doing it tonight, baby. Easy money on the underdog. Yes, it was a beautiful underdog when she destroyed her. Folks, this is, ama this is amazing. I picked him to win. I picked him to win. E. Roll Zimmerman is making his walkout co-main event KSW 81. This is incredible stuff here. K heavyweight kickboxing legend Errol Zimmerman making his walkout to the cage right now. And yes, we got the Marshall and Gomez fight on. I got Gomez winning this. I got the underdog winning this. Three minutes on the clock here. UFC fight night. Second fight on the prelims. I have the underdog winning, folks. I got Gomez winning the UFC fight. 
Let me know your thoughts on the UFC fights as we have that going on in the background here, folks. But we're also paying attention to KSW here. 81 co-main event of the evening. Look at this boss. Between the beautiful ring girls here of KSW making his long walk out to the cage. I love this promotion so much, KSW. It's amazing. I think Pavlovich continues his run tonight. I do as well. Now, I love Blades. And look, I'm not bullish on Pavlovich by any means, but I do think Blades can go full Curtis Blades and take Pavlovich to the ground, employ the ground and pound, employ the superior wrestling, because he does have amazing wrestling. Do I think he also can get caught trying to take Pavlovich to the ground? Derek Lewis style? Yes. Do I think that Pavlovich can stuff some of his takedowns and piece him up on the feet? Absolutely. I'm leaning Pavlovich. It's, it's, it's a slight lean, but I'm leaning Pavlovich as well. I hope Marshall gets a finish as Mike Jones. I don't think he's going to. This is Gomez's fight. Gomez is going to win this, Mike Jones. I can feel it. I can feel it. One minute, 36 seconds on the clock still in this UFC fight. Marshall in the blue corner, Gomez in the red. And again, KSW, Coleman event. They're making their walkout to the cage right now. Two thirty, suppose it thirty-seven year olds Zimmerman and S it's so funny, guys. For KSW right now, these two legendary heavyweight kickboxers are going at it. Yeah, both thirty-seven years old. Both have three letters in their last name: three R's for Sarara, three M's for Zimmerman. Going for the takedown is Marshall. Fifty-five seconds left in the first round. Come on, stuff it, Gomez. Gomez up against the cage. Oh, Gomez gets the finish then. No judges, and I'm happy. There you go, Mike Jones. There you go. I mean, they're big boys, but my goodness, KSW. Get these guys in the cage already. Three minutes and 31 seconds. Or sorry, 30 seconds. My goodness, left in the first round of uh, this Marshall and Gomez fight. Three minutes and 31 seconds is the length of this walkout. By Erol Zimmerman right now out of the Netherlands. Good old foot stomp by Marshall. I dig it in the UFC fight going on. We got UFC going on in the background right now. We got KSW right in front of me, folks. Too much respect being shown. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Coleman event of the evening. Still coming up here. Thomas Serrara, legendary kickboxer, making his walk out to the cage in KSW 81, coming of end of the evening. Cooking a stuffed crust pizza for the card right now. Let's go, Zoomer Loyals. That sounds incredible, my man. That sounds incredible. I've literally had three and a half cups of coffee and a piece of chocolate. And it's 2.08 p.m. Pacific time right now. 10-9 Marshall says Benjamin. I think Marshall won that first round, too. I'm still rooting for his opponent, though. I think the underdog is going to take it. I think he's going to knock him out. I think Gomez is going to knock him out, Benjamin. That's right. That's my prediction. Coffee on an empty stomach. I'm just buzzing right now. I just made such fucking strong coffee. And it's good. It's good. I need that to keep me going on these streams, folks. Four to five hours. Sometimes seven hour live streams if we're going full UFC cards. I'm coming to sirloin roast. Oh, my goodness. That sounds awesome. Oh, this song, this song that Sarara, uh, Sarara is walking out to is the most gangster-ass shit I've heard all day. All right, second round is starting for Gomez Marshall right now, folks. Thanks for getting so hyped about my pizza, dude. I'm hyped about your pizza, I'm hyped about your fucking pizza. I'm hyped about your fucking sirloin roast. I'm hyped about this co-main event heavyweight on KSW. And I'm hyped about this UFC event and this boxing event tonight. Again, we have never, ever streamed boxing over MMA or UFC for that matter. And we're doing it tonight because you folks, Benjamin in particular, has been wanting us to do the tank versus Garcia fight. So we're going to do it, folks. Char grilled cheeseburger here. I am fucking salivating. I'm drooling, boys. That all sounds amazing. 
They're ripping the vape pen here, so I got the munchies, and I'm so hungry. We got two more fights left on KSW, then I'm going to make some food. Sit down, relax, watch some UFC without a webcam in front of my face for the first time in a long time, and then we'll tee up the Garcia tank stream for later when we'll be back for the main card of that. Zoomer's Pizza's off the chain. Let's go stuff crust. I like stuff crust. I like Chicago style. I like deep dish and I like thin crust. It just all has to be good and the thin crust has to be 7th Avenue pizza. 10-8 Zoomer stuff crust pizza. 10-9 Gomis for Mike Jones in that first round. Marshall right now can't get Gomez to the ground. He's pushing him back up against the cage. Marshall desperately trying to get this to the ground. Three minutes and 13 seconds, seven on the clock, and he cannot do it. He cannot do it. Both fighters for KSW as we turn our attention back to KSW are in the cage. Both of them, 37 years old. Zimmerman with a little bit more reach. Orthodox stance by Zimmerman. Sarara with the switch stance. Sarara, one and one in pro MMA. Zero and one for Zimmerman. They're both legendary kickboxers, though, folks. So you know this ain't going to the ground. This ain't going to the ground. This is going to stay on the feet, and someone is going down. I'm very excited for this one, folks. I'm very excited for this one, as you can see. You see going on in the background, so don't be afraid to comment about that, despite this still being a KSW fight companion, folks. Round one, co-main event. Heavyweight bout two kickboxing kickboxing legends are going at it here in KSW 81. Bro, stop the drugs! Stop the drugs! I don't do, do I don't do drugs. What are you talking about? Good to see you, brother. What are you watching here? Are you watching KSW or are you watching UFC? Sarara. Zimmerman. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here. Nice spinning back fist attempt by Sarara. And I think that tags Zimmerman. Zimmerman looks a little wobbly here. That or he's just a little off his rocker. Oh, one sec, folks. My dog is going to bark. So once I'm going to open the door for her. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock here. Whoops. I knew my dog would want to go out there. She gave me the look. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep the Tank vs. Garcia fight open on another screen. What time is the main event? What time is the main event, chat? Mike, any locks? 10 Central. There you go. There you go. Watch all this shit. I love it. I love that you're watching all this shit. Thank you so much for joining. Shout out Polish MMA. Poland, you have the most beautiful women in Poland, and you have one of the most badass MMA promotions ever, ladies and gentlemen. Clinching now are both of these fighters. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in this fight. Mike, I think this one is going to decision. 45 seconds, yeah, in the second round of this UFC bout. But three minutes and 20 seconds in this first round. Sarara Zimmerman. Seriously, the ring girls in KSW and every Polish woman I know in real life. Amazing. Three minutes left here, and Sarara is getting the better of Zimmerman thus far in this fight. I'm going to close this door behind me, folks. Sorry about this. Low kick by Sarara. Sarara employing the kickboxing well here. Again, shout out to Claudius. Is that how you say your last name? Claudius Welgarez. Thank you so much for joining. Claudius Welgarez, shout out to you. Shout out to the Polish women. And shout out to the Polish sausages. Not your Polish sausage, sir. But the actual Polish sausage. Fucking love that shit. A little pierogi up in this motherfucker. I told you guys to go Gomez. I told you guys to go Gomez. Two minutes and five seconds left in this first round. You like that one? You like that one, buddy? Sarara so far getting the better of Zimmerman. And this ain't going to the ground. They may clinch here. They may clinch here because they're kickboxers. They may clinch here. Nice one-two by Zimmerman. A right and a left. But I think Sarara so far has got the better of him in this first round outside low kick by Sarara. 
Again, they're 37 years old. Who's got the better cardio at this age, at this stage of their career? And again, this is a glorifying kickboxing match. They should have just made this a three, three minute round kickboxing match in KSW, inside low kick by Sarara. But no, it's going MMA. Oh, and Sarara drops Zimmerman. Sarara just drops Zimmerman there. Zimmerman on his back, kicking the legs. Is Sarara, I imagine Sarara just going to invite him back up to his feet here. One minute and 12 seconds left. Is Sarara really going to go to the ground here with him? You guys are missing out on a heavyweight MMA slash kickboxing affair here in KSW, Benjamin. Third and final round for the UFC fight coming up. Gomez is going to win this one, folks. I'm telling you. 51 seconds left in this first round. Stand him up, ref. Come on. All Sarah was doing is just kicking the legs of Zimmerman. It's been like 40 seconds of that now. Nice up kick by Zimmerman. Could you imagine if Zimmerman up kicked him? Into modified half guard. Uh, into side control is Sarara here. 32 seconds. Thank God it's only 32 seconds of this. I'm making sure my sirloin roast is crispy. Well done. Ariel Hawani style. We got the UFC fight in the background, folks. So if you want to f talk about UFC, we are watching that as well. But we are have our attention on KSW 81 Coleman event here. Round one, end of round one, heavyweight bout here. Sarara Zimmerman. Usman is shorter, lighter, and older. That should be good. End of the first round here, folks. End of the first round, heavyweight bout here. KSW Coleman event. Who do you think won that first round? I got it to Sarara all day, every day. All day, every day, Sarara, I got winning this one. Errol Zimmerman looking like Rampage Jackson and Bellator. Benjamin, I need more pink. I always need more pink. My cheeseburgers are medium. My steaks are rare. I'm the same, Mike Jones. I'm the same. When people ask me how I want my steaks, I tell them, still screaming. I'm just kidding. I'm shooting for mid-rare. I've only said still screaming to a restaurant once, and I may have been a few whiskey uh, sours deep. Three minutes left in the UFC fight here. Marshall versus Gomez. Gomez is going to win, folks. I'm telling you. Second round starting here. KSW 81. Come in event of the evening. We've got the big boys. We've got the heavyweights. Sarara versus Zimmerman. Round two. Let's get it on. The bell just rang. I like a char, though. I got a torch. I hit that fat with... While it's on the grill. Mm, my goodness, Mike Jones. You guys are making me salivate right now. You're making me salivate. Oh, I really hope Marshall doesn't end this against Gomez. Two minutes 36 on the clock there for the UFC fight. Anyways, attention back to KSW. Heavyweight, Coleman event of the evening. Four minutes and 35 seconds on the clock here for KSW. 81, Zimmerman, Sarara. Sarara spinning back fist attempt, and Zimmerman lands a left hook and drops Sarara. Zimmerman just drops Sarara. Sarara just holding on to the big belly of Zimmerman. Belly to the face. Honestly, Zimmerman should just push his belly up against Sarara's face and give him win via suffocation. Zimmerman looking for his first win. Ground and pound. Full mount on Sarara. Zimmerman, can he get his first win? Back mount. Looking to get back up to his feet, and Sarara with the reversal. Sarara with the reversal. Sarara now in the full mount on Zimmerman. Top control here. I have never eaten a Texas to Brazil. Full mount for Zarara after Zimmerman had full mount, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely insane what's going on right now in this heavyweight bout. Three minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock here. Zarara now looking to take back mount of Zimmerman. The hooks are in by Zarara. The hooks are in. He has complete back mount. Complete back mount. The hooks are in. What a reversal. Now he's beaten the side of Zimmerman's head. The ref's going to end this. I'm so hungry. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing, Mike Jones. Brazilian food, I'm guessing. Oh, no. Marshall's going to end this on Gomez. No. Marshall's going to choke out Gomez here, it looks like. 
Two minutes and 54 seconds left. Full mount by Sarara. Full mount by Sarara on Zimmerman. I almost thought you were going to say it was Applebee's. This is a snoozer on UFC. Let's go KSW. Dude, we got two heavyweights grappling right now on KSW, and it's less of a snoozer than this UFC fight. All you can eat flame grilled meats done. Done. Two minutes and 19 seconds. Arm triangle choke. Sorora. What a comeback this is. What a comeback. Arm triangle choke. Zorora on Zimmerman. Arm triangle choke. Zorora. Sorora on Zimmerman. It's not in deep yet. It's not in deep yet. And they're back up to their feet. And Zimmerman just threw a right hand from hell back up to their feet. This is an incredible heavyweight co-main event. One minute and 45 seconds left in this second round. One minute and 45 seconds. Nice right hand by Sarara. Zimmerman just got tagged. Zimmerman looks hurt. Zimmerman sticking his tongue out of Sarara here. And to the judges we go, said Benjamin. Gomez is going to win, I'm telling you guys. One minute and 25 seconds left in this heavyweight bout. Second round. They're both starting to gas here, folks. They're both starting to gas. Who can dig deeper? Oh! And Zimmerman just knocks down Sorora. Zimmerman just knocked down Sorora. Zimmerman has to empty the gas tank now. Zimmerman has to empty the gas tank. And Zimmerman, the underdog, my pick wins. Zimmerman wins. T K O T. K O Zimmerman is completely gassed, and that is it. He gets his first win in pro MMA. Let's go! <laughs> Fuck these props. I need to follow Gucci Zimmerman. Let's go, baby. Charles Jose Sanchez in KSW Gucci. There has been no Sanchez who has fought in KSW today. Oh my goodness. TKO. Welp, the song kept skipping because for some reason YouTube kept sending me back to the beginning of the stream. I thought Isha was just on break for a long time. Gomez nearly got submitted by Marshall. No, Benjamin, I, I was not. I've been, I've been going crazy over this fight here, Benjamin. This heavyweight TKO, this reversal, reversal back and forth. What a tremendous performance. KSW81 has delivered, and my underdog pick, Gomez, has delivered two underdogs in a row. My underdog on UFC and my underdog at KSW. Both of them just delivered right now, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Cash that money. Cash that money. Cash that money. T-K-O. I ain't watching Bellator right now, buddy. Heavyweights next on the UFC, ladies and gentlemen. They got Usman's brother. I think Usman loses. I think Usman loses. Gomez got the split decision, but Benjamin, I told you he was going to win. I told you he was going to win. And I said it in confidence, buddy. I got Tafa beating Usman, brother. I got Tafa beating Usman. I don't think Usman's that good. Gomez won by robbery, Marshall. Now Gomez did better. Gomez won the first two rounds. Mike Jones, I was lucky, I'm not going to lie. Usman's 9-2, and two, Tafa 4-0. and oh. Okay, so KSW, they're announcing the winner of this heavyweight fight. TKO first. He is now 1-1 one one in pro MMA. Of course, BKFC's popping off too. I mean, I love BKFC. I'm actually, I feel bad that we haven't been able to do a BKFC event in a couple weeks now. It's just because there's just been MMA... One championship, KSW, Glory. I mean, there's just been some promotions that we wanted to do 
above them, to be perfectly honest. But I love BKFC. We will show them some love. We will give them some priority in some streams coming up soon. If you haven't already, folks, like this video. We hit our like goal of 30 likes, but let's try to get now to 40. I know we can do it. You all are amazing. Let's get this video to 40 likes. Taking Usman, double chance, bet by TKO or points. Let's highlight some UFC right now. Since we have a little bit of time here, Errol Zimmerman is being highlighted in the center of the cage of KSW right now. We will turn our attention to the main event of KSW in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen, as it is for the vacant welterweight, 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 welterweight. My apologies, folks. My apologies. But again, I might as well give my pick on the UFC, guys, as that's going on as well. I love, by the way, the the announcer for KSW. He's, he's interviewing Zimmerman right now. And he asked him if he was surprised by the performance or whatever. And Zimmerman's just like, I'm not scared of anybody. I'll kill everybody. Going full uh, going full Hamza Chimaev. And he's like, I didn't ask you if you were. You know, I, that's not the question I asked. But anyways, KSW... Interviewing both of the fighters in the cage, both the heavyweight co-main event fighters. We're going to go to the main event of that in a moment. We will highlight the UFC fighters as well here, folks, in just one moment. But then we'll focus our attention on KSW as the next fight years for the vacant welterweight title. Usman, the bigger, the bigger but younger Usman is making his walkout. Muhammad Usman making his walkout to the cage right now. All right, just gonna refresh this KSW broadcast. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Sorry about freezing there for a moment, folks. But we are back. We are back. Love BKFC, and and like I said, we're gonna get BKFC some priority. Um, well, uh, next week for um for their Luke Rockhold event. So there you go, there you go. We'll make up for it, and I'll even buy their pay per view. So there you go, there you go. Uh, BKFC, big KO with a busted up face. Like a Muhammad Usman. Why, Diego? He's older, shorter, and weighs less. I'm picking Mo Usman. I picked Puago last time, and Usman's power really surprised me. Yeah, but Usman was losing. That was a classic gypsy fight on BKFC. It was two Irish travelers fighting each other, and uh, Puega, I think, moved down back to the light heavyweight, if I'm not mistaken. Not that that matters, and maybe that makes his chin worse, but. I'm with Isha Benjamin. You're going down. All right, let's take a look at the UFC card here. One sec. As the fighters, the, the heavyweight fighters are still in the cage. The main event, they haven't touched it yet. So let's look at UFC. As Mo Usman is getting checked by the cut man right now before entering the cage. Why the heck isn't this loading up? Mike, I could definitely be wrong in most of the fights I'd pick Tafa. Foul one by second round TKO. That's amazing, foul one. That's amazing. I'll rewatch the BKFC fight la later. I do have the app, so I, I do rewatch most, most like if not all of the events. <laughs> Um, bah, 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 bah. I don't know why my topology is being really slow right now. Probably because everyone's using it and they're tripping out. Uh, Muhammad Usman got power, bro. Yeah, but so does Tafa, man. So does Tafa. That's what we're saying. Joe Martinez. I fucking love Joe Martinez, man. All right, Mohamed Usman, 8 and 2. He is 4 and 1 in his last five fights. A minus 105, 34 years old, 239 pounds. Du, 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 du. Definitely on the horse meat. Four KO, TKO, two submissions, two decisions. He's 0 and 1 in the PFL, 1 and 0 in the UFC. 
2-0 in the Ultimate Fighter. Look, he's fought cans, man. He's fought cans. 6-6. Six and 2-6. Six. and six. I don't know. He's fought a few guys who are about like the same level as him, but a lot of cans as well. Looking at Taffa. 4-0 and oh in his pro MMA career. Minus 115. 26 years old out of Australia. You know he's a tough, but he's got power. 1-0 in Ryzen. We watched that. Ryzen 40. He's fought in Brave CF. He's also fought in professional boxing and kickboxing, folks. He's fought in Glory as well. I'm going Tafa, baby. Tafa TKO. Let's go. All right. The main event of the evening. For KSW81 is about to begin here, ladies and gentlemen. We do have the UFC fight on in the background. So if you want to talk UFC, it's all good. I do have it in the background. Four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock here. UFC fight night in the background. But we have the main event of the evening, KSW81 on screen right now. They're showing an intro for that. We will get the ticker on the bottom of the screen lined up here for the vacant welterweight championship here ksw81 shout out to everyone joining us here you all are amazing i appreciate you all usman going for the takedown jeez what a baby back and we ain't talking about the ribs All right, we're just watching the Usman Tafa fight right now, folks. As KSW has the intro for their main event of the evening. Using a free $25 bet on this one. I love it, Gucci. Fallon, man, it's been such a great day for sports. Even get to watch the Leafs go up 2 1 in the series tonight. Ha, lol. Just like the Wild shook off that loss against Dallas. Tampa Bay Lightning, you're going to shake that one off. The lawyer from Prince George, man. That coach can't be beaten. And then we're going to see Kyle Dubas join the Calgary Flames in head office. It's going to be amazing. Any fights in the Leafs game, foul one? I mean, honestly, oh, you know what? Here, Mike Jones, I got something else for you to watch, buddy. In the NHL, they're trying to phase out fighting. However, there is a league called the LNAH. And it's literally the most vicious fighting hockey league on the planet. And Vice did a little documentary about it a few years ago. Um, it's in Quebec. Here it is. LNAH, baby. I cannot wait to go to an LNAH game. Check that out in the in the link, guys. Or in the comments there. I just sent you a link. We had three fights in game two. Let's go, baby! That's what I love about hockey. That's what I love about hockey. Two minutes on the clock left. Usman Tafa. Usman doing a good job. Oh, Usman cage grab. Cage grab there by Tafa. Shen versus Gino was a pretty good heavyweight fight. I love how Shen, full circle, started in Toronto. What was he? Third overall pick? Started in Toronto... Bounced around, won a couple of cups in Tampa. Not a big deal. Or at least won, won one cup in Tampa. Up 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 in Tampa. As I was saying, won a couple cups in Tampa, not a big deal. Then joined the Canucks to help out Quinn Hughes in his development. It was he, he's unbelievable, Luke Shen. And his brother Braden's awesome as well. Heavyweight, everyone has power. Fight goes the distance, no, says Gucci. Again, folks, we still have a tremendous and like this intro is like almost five minutes long. And it just it just wrapped up the main event of the evening, folks. KSW81 is next here. And look at Tafa piecing up Usman. You'll love it. 
35 seconds left in the first round here for UFC, and Tafa's just looking to swing heavy on Usman. Main event for KSW in there. It's time, baby! Main event, KSW. I'm so fucking pumped. Boring? Guys, the, the speech before the main events for KSW are incredible. If you're not tuning in, please tune in now. These heavyweights are swinging here in the UFC. You'll love to see it. Tafa's got some motherfucking power. Guys, tune in to KSW's intro right now. It's incredible. Unbelievable. The challenger. The challenger, Arthur Shezhnipiak, is making his descent from the rafters to the path. Then he will walk the stage to the cage. This is truly incredible stuff here. KSW 81, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fun fight, this foul one. It is indeed. We got UFC in the background right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are focusing in on KSW for the vacant. That's right, for the vacant welterweight title here. The main event of the evening. 10-9 Tavis is Benjamin. I agree. What is up, Andrew? I'm doing great, Andrew. How are you? And yes, Usman name I was referring to. That was for holding an opponent up against a cage and foot stomping for five minutes. Usman is so jacked, man. Holy shit. Shout out to Overeem's horse meat and the former Black Zillions. Vegas is winning 3-1. Odds just flip, said Mike Jones. All right, round two for this UFC heavyweight bout. Again, walking out are the KSW challengers for the vacant Welterweight title. While they are getting checked by the cut men and making their walkouts here, we will highlight them in just a moment. But we are watching the USC fight, and Usman's just getting pieced the fuck up by Tafa. Usman is getting pieced the fuck up by Tafa right now, folks. Both UFC and KSW have been awesome, Andrew. Tafa's gonna. He's gonna beat Usman. Nice left hand. Tafa just cracked Usman. Usman's got a chin. I'll give it to him. We watched one championship, Andrew. Usman's got a chin. I'll give it to him. Because Tafa just cracked him with that left hand. All right, we're going to highlight these next fighters for KSW main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a good one. Please tune in. Arthur Shiznipiak. 9-1 and one in his pro MA career. He's the underdog plus 205. He's 26 years of age on a five-fight win streak. He's only 9-1 and one in his pro MA career. Five KO, TKO, two submissions, two decisions. He's 2-0 and oh in KSW. He won his last KSW fight, rear naked choke, and head kick in the first round. He is on a 2-4, five-fight win streak. 9-1 and one in his pro career. He went 2-1. and one. On the regionals, and he's fought good guys. He's fought in eighteen and eight in his last fight, thirteen and four before then, eighteen and six before then, seven and one. Looking at his opponent, Adrian Bartoninski, thirteen and oh, that's right, you heard that correctly. 13 and oh, he is the minus two sixty five favorite. He's twenty seven years of age. He is undefeated 13 and oh, ladies and gentlemen. 10 KOT KO, one submission, two decision. 6 and 0 oh in KSW, 3 and 0 oh in Where Tuos Challenge. He beat a 10 and 2 guy in his last fight. 18 and 4 before that. 9 and 4, 8 and 1, 8 and 4, 5 and 0, oh, 22 and 14, 5 and 1, 6 and 4. 3 and 8 before then, but he was only 3 and 0 oh at that time. So he has not crushed tomato cans either. He is the favorite and he's making his walk out now. And I am going for Adrian. That is my pick, ladies and gentlemen. I am picking the favorite in this one to become the welterweight champion. I am I am picking Adrian Barton Sinski. He's going to be 14 and 0 oh after this, and he will be champion. That is my pick. Let me know your pick in the live chat, folks. Let me know your pick in the live chat for this KSW 81 main event of the evening.
and a great walkout song as well. Drop the gloves is crazy. I was watching uh, one championship streaming, Andrew. Number five in the world in glory kickboxing. He needed that takedown indeed, did Usman. One minute, 30 seconds left in this second round for UFC. Adrian, I'm going for, says Andrew. As Adrian makes his walk out now next to these beautiful Polish ring girls. Flag girls, I should say, as they wave the flags. Mm, this is some gangster shit. I like this walkout song for Adrian Bartos. Inski, Usman laying on his opponent, Tafa. Tafa won that first round, and you know what? I'm going to give Tafa the second round as well. Usman's done absolutely nothing but lay on his opponent in boring fashion. 42 seconds left in the second round. UFC fight night, Usman, Tafa right now. What were you up to last night, Andrew? Usman is making this fight suck. Yeah, it was great out of the gate. Tafa just wants to swang and bang. I mean, Tafa shades um, of, you know, Mark Hunt just wanting to stand and bang and then getting taken down and being like, bruh, really? Usman just planting that high gut on Tafa. All right, final fighter in this main event of the evening, KSW81, getting checked by the cut man here. Main event of the evening, folks, last fight on this card, KSW81, ladies and gentlemen, for the vacant welterweight title in one of the best MMA promotions outside of North America. And that's right, folks, vote in the poll question. Final chance to vote in the poll question here. City Light Project YouTube channel, KSW81. What is the best MMA promotion outside of the USA? And if it's not listed there, folks, please comment it in the live chat. 1919 says Benjamin. I'm giving that second round to Taffa. If you do nothing with control time, it means nothing to me. What is up, Andrew? Says foul one. I got Tafa up two rounds, folks. That may be controversial, but it is what it is. So funny because both these Polish fighters, the number one ranked fighter in Adrian, the number two ranked fighter in Archer, they look exactly the same. One's 27, one's 26. 12 and 0. 13 and 0 on Tapology. 8 and 1 is the other. In the red corner, Adrian Bartosinski. In the blue corner, Archer. Siznenpiak. Third round for the UFC heavyweight. Fight is on here. Usman just wants to lay on his opponent again. 1918 Tafas is Mike Jones. Main event of the evening, folks. Get your predictions in for this main event of the evening. Get your predictions in. I'm going with Adrian. Main event of the evening. Welterweight title. Welterweight belt on the line here. KSW 81. Bartosinski against Sesnipenyak. Let's get it on, ladies and gentlemen. Round one, the main event of the evening. KSW 81 for the 170-pound strap. Let's go. Bartosinski in the red corner, folks. That is who I picked. Adrian Arter in the blue corner. It's the number one ranked against the number two ranked here for the vacant welterweight title. Adrian against Arter. Adrian in the red corner. Arter making it easier for us where in the blue trunks as well. And Adrian now stalking Arter with a one-two. I am streaming boxing and a nice takedown by Adrian. Gucci saying it's a draw for the Usman fight. I will be streaming the main card of 
the boxing match tonight. Tank versus Garcia. Again, folks, I'm going to be giving my full attention here. I do have the UFC fight in the background, so keep commenting on it that if you guys want. But my attention is right here on the KSW main event of the evening. KSW 81 for the welterweight strap here. It's vacant. The title is on the line. Five rounds of MMA if needed here. Both fighters clinched up against the cage. Adrian Bartosinski against Arter. Shesh Paniak. Just Paniak in the blue. Bartosinski in the red. Oh! And the counter left hook by Bartosinski. And that is it. He is the welterweight champion. He is the welterweight champion. That is it. Bartosinski with a counter left and a good right for good measure. He is the champion. Adrian Bartosinski with a counter left and a right and he is the welterweight and new no, he is the welterweight champion folks that was unbelievable that was incredible he is up on the cage a minute into that fight what a counter what a counter you guys should not be watching this UFC fight. I don't know what the fuck you're doing watching this UFC fight right now when you could have been watching this beautiful knockdown main event for the 170-pound strap. Oh my goodness! Wow! Fahon, man, Usman looks like he marinates his horse meat and secret juice. That could be common to the night. Over two and a half rounds, I smell it. Need the KSW under now, and you got it, Gucci. I should have followed you, Gucci. Send Usman back to the PFL to lose to no names. Telling you I love the over and unders. That's a quick punch. Just like that, under cashes. Cash that money. Cash that money. Cash that money. 14-0, champion of KSW. Adebayo's parlay hit. Oh my goodness, waiting on Usman decision now, baby. He did nothing to Tafa. What an absolute disgrace by Usman. Watch them both, but I can't find a site for Gervonta fight. 29-18, Usman not even waiting for the end of this round. He does not deserve to win this fight. They should cut him for boring-ass bullshit. They should just make this one a draw, honestly. Tafa probably outlanded him in strikes, right? Let's take a look. I cannot believe we have a new champion in KSW. That was unbelievable, folks. That was unbelievable. Dude, Tafa is... Oh, he's not... Uh, I guess, yeah, Usman is outstriking him with significant strikes, too. And 11 minutes of controls time. I guess you have to give it to Usman. Yeah, Usman. Screw Muhammad Usman, man. This could be a legit draw. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, and new. Fuck, folks, if I hadn't already streamed for four and a half hours, I would literally just stay on for UFC right now, but I got a shower, I got a shave, I'm going to go try on new frames. Let me know what kind of glasses frames you want me to get, folks. But we will be back later. I will set up the stream for Tank and Garcia. Unbelievable. Adrian Bartosinski. And new. He is 14-0 and 0 in pro mixed martial arts. He has not crushed tomato cans. And now he is champion of KSW. That is amazing. And look at that belt, baby. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. Second was a draw, in my opinion. I don't think round one was a 10-8. If a draw, I get my free bet money back, so that works. If it was not a 10-8, says Gucci. All right, we're listening in for the decision of Usman here. We're listening in for the official decision, official decision for UFC. Twenty nine, twenty eight. Mohamed Usman in the a fight where Tafa wanted to swing and bang, and Usman wanted to be a boring shit.
Agent, thanks for the easiest money ever. Benjamin, I don't either, but I don't think second was a draw. Isha should have went with Gucci instead of you. Sorry, Mike Jones. Sorry. But let's be honest. Let's be honest. If Usman didn't want to be a baby back and not of the ribs variety, Tafa would have beat him. No one is in that one. All right, folks. I'm going to give every single one of you who commented. Oh, good. He's. That commented in this live chat a shout-out here, okay? I'm going to give every single one of you a shout-out for staying with me throughout this KSW stream. KSW broadcast is still going on. He's being interviewed in the center of the ring. I'm not going to be streaming the rest of UFC. We will be back later for the tanking guards, 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 the tanking As I was saying, sorry about that, folks. We will be back later for the Tanking Garcia boxing match, okay? So that video will pop up on this channel in like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. So keep your eye out for that. Ring that bell for notifications. Subscribe if you haven't already so that when that pops up, you can like it so you can vote in the poll question and we will join you then. We're not going to do the entire prelims of the Tanking Garcia card, but we will do the main card. So we will do multiple fights. We'll start with the main card. I will see you folks then. I cannot wait for that one. It is going to be amazing. I'm going to give a shout out to everyone who commented in the live chat. Keep the comments coming in the in the meantime, folks, but I, this is how I say thank you to you guys. I know I give you guys love and I give you guys praise and I do give you guys um I do just comment live on screen with every comment that you post in the live chat in real time but I'm going to do it again here just to say a special thank you to everybody who commented here in the live chat again Mike Jones starting with you thank you so much Mike Jones for everything you do on this channel for all the donations for supporting us for being an exclusive member you are amazing Shout out to Gucci Rari. Thank you so much Gucci Rari for joining our community here. Andrew B, shout out to you Andrew B. Shout out to Benjamin Shout out to Benjamin, Takashi Trump. Uh, shout out to Foul One, my fellow Canadian. Shout out to you, O Canada, baby. Shout out to Diego. Shout out to you, Diego. Thank you so much for joining, Diego. I appreciate you, buddy. See you later for the boxing match. I know you're pumped about that one. Uh, shout out to Claudius Weglarez. Shout out to you, Claudius Weglarez, our boy from Poland. Shout out to Zoomer Loyalist. Appreciate you, Zoomer. It's good to see you. Shout out to you, DM. Shout out to you, M and Wild Talk. Shout out to Shane. Shout out to Peak Master. Appreciate you, Peak Master. Shout out to the Soda Pod, my podcast. Shout out to Professor Chaos, one of our exclusive members, Professor Chaos. Shout out to Sasquatch NHL. Shout out to Adam Bayou. Shout out to Grave Digger Jones, one of our exclusive members as well. Shout out to CC YouTube. Shout out to Aaron S. Shout out to Activate A. Shout out to City of Sunrise, Tom. Shout out to Juggador. Shout out to you, Juggador. Shout out to Sh Sage421. Shout out to Living with H. Shout out to Habib. And that is it. That is it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, went one unit, $20. See if I'm on a streak. See you later, Andrew. Later, brother. See you at Tank vs. Garcia. Uh, the porno promoter. What is up, the porno promoter? Give your thoughts on Carl Rosa and Dumont. Okay, I'll give my thoughts on Carl Rosa and Dumont quickly, and then we will hang up the gloves until the boxing match this evening. All right, folks? All right? Is that okay with you? Shout out to you, the porno promoter. I'm just waiting for Tapology to load up here, and then I'll give my official thoughts on that one. Before we hang up the gloves. Bum bum but a bum 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Joe Martinez is announcing him here. Porno promoter had one more thing he wanted me to do before this stream ended. So we are going to do that. We have 
Carol Rosa against Norma Dumont. The immortal Dumont. Dumont's 8-2 in her pro MMA career. I don't know why Typology is just freaking out right now. It's not loading anything. Probably because so many people are using it right now. I don't know. I just want to load it up here so I can do these women right. Okay, Carl Rosa. 16-4 and four in her pro MMA career. She is 4-1 and one in her last five fights. She's minus 105. 28 years of age. Come on, Tapology. Come on. 16, 4, and 0 oh, in her pro MMA career. She is 4 KO, TKO, 2 submissions, 10 decision, 5 and 1 in the UFC, 4 and 0 oh, in HCC. She won her last fight, majority decision. She pretty much wins all her fights via decision. Um, she beat a 10 6, 11 5 last time. Um, blah, 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 blah. Norma Dumont, minus 115, 32 years old, 8-2, 4-1 in her last five fights. She won her last fight just like Carl Rosa, ex pretty much exactly the same as Carl Rosa. Was also 4-1 in the last five fight, won her last one. Norma, the immortal Dumont, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> 0 KO, TKO, 2 submission, 6 decision, 4-2 in the UFC. Beat Danielle Wolf. Again, Danielle Wolf, 1-0 in pro MMA, just destroyed her in the last one. Lost Macy Chesson, beat Aspen Ladd. Felicia Spencer. Uh, this one was tough. I'm going with Norma Dumont here. What slight under or slight favorite? I'm going with Norma Dumont. This one's close, so it could go either way. I'm going with Norma Dumont. That is it for me this evening, folks. I will see you this evening for boxing. That's right. Tank Garcia. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video for Tank vs. Garcia once it is up on this channel in a few minutes' time. And I guess 20 minutes, in about 20, 15, 20 minutes it will be up. So like the video, vote in the poll question there. I'll see you for a boxing fight companion on this channel later this evening. Folks, shout out to everyone who commented. Shout out to all of our subscribers. Shout out to everyone who interacted with us. You all are amazing. KSW81 in the books. We will see you. All you Polish fight fans, we will see you back for KSW Coliseum 2 and, eight, and KSW 82 on those next cards. But we'll see you later tonight for more combat sports boxing tank versus Garcia. One love, Adebayu. One love. I will see you later for tanking Garcia. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you all. Peace. I'm out of here. In your shoes, yeah. in the fiercest battle out of